No, no. He's handsome. Is that what you're saying? And I look weird? No, I think that, like... I think she meant we are cute together, no? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, your penis must be like an udon noodle. The thick udon kind? Noodle? Just no, long, 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 white. Thick. You know what I mean? Yeah. Everyone loves it. Thick. Who doesn't love udon? Do you don't like it? It's Japanese, brah. Udon's lit, man. I'm, I'm a fan. You're lit, dog. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> dog. Can I say dog or no? Yeah. Wait, well, is that shirt because you're doing Tiger Belly? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I well, I, I, I didn't fully think I was going to wear it. Then I was like, oh, this is really perfect. It's perfect. It might be a little wrinkly because it's in my bag. but I like Gotta it. like your face. <laughs> is that? It's interesting. <laughs> what were you yeah, doing in Hawaii? Uh, tour. It was it was on the way back from Australia and New Zealand tour. You played Republic? Played the Republic. Oh, yeah, I did, uh, my, with my friend. My friend Phil runs the show. Yeah, I know Phil too, okay? God. <laughs> He's cool. <laughs> I don't know what's wrong. Your editor. I just woke up. I just woke up. I'm sorry. He woke up five minutes ago. Yeah, I'm aggressive. Yeah. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You're right. It feels great. I love you. <laughs> he thanks knows for, Phil too, you guys. Here. You guys, he knows Phil. I know Phil too. I mean, I know everyone she knows. I'm cool too. <laughs> oh, yeah. How was the Hawaii show, go? It was really good, actually. The first time I did a show in Hawaii wasn't that exciting, but mm. this one was really good. Was really, really? Good. Why, why, was, why was the first one not good? The energy wasn't, wasn't crazy. I thought yeah. maybe they were just not partiers there, but it was, it was great. It's island energy, Doc. Yeah. yeah indeed. Yeah. I, I, I remember actually spending some time there. We shot a music video there, actually. Whoa. Oh. And uh, the people were so nice. I was, I'm tempted to you know, just go back on vacation. I haven't taken like a normal vacation besides touring and I don't know, six, six or That's seven years. so interesting. I was saying that to somebody else. I've never been on a vacation. A- anytime I'm anywhere is because I'm working. Yeah. Yeah. Are you I like that? A, yeah, yeah, exactly. Except for when my uh, ex was going to break up with me and I was scared, so I brought her to Costa Rica. <laughs> and that was the only actual vacation that I've been on since And how did it feel? High school. Uh, Are you able to really settle down and like chill during vacation? I, w- I was. I mean, I was kind of at the same time, like thinking, "All right, what do I got to do to like get her back?" And it was like a, a strategic. <laughs> Wait, is but. this before you know? What I mean, you're, you know, you're killing it, or is it after when you're in your midst of your career? Uh, let me think. When I first started dating this girl, I was, I was, it was very early, and then we dated for a while, and I was getting a lot bigger. I wasn't like where I'm at now, but mm. but yeah, no, I was, I was out there. Listen, young gravy. May I call you young gravy? Yeah. Or Matt. Whatever you want. Anything. I can call you anything. Oh, don't do that. How do you pronounce your last <laughs> give me name? Some, give me some options. Well, is because let me guess what your last name is like. Mm-hmm. It's how Asians say hurry. <laughs> hurry. No, 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 no. no. Hurry. 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 A lot of people see my name, and you know, Matthew's a pretty common name among Asians in America. Never heard of it before. And uh, <laughs> they, uh, the last name looks a bit. Uh, I mean, maybe you guys yeah. probably wouldn't. It was the U kind of. Japanese, no. yeah, yeah, yeah. But I, I definitely have people think that it's it's. I mean, How do you say it? Howry. Oh, Howry. Howry. I actually met this guy, Lil. Oh, you know, Lil Rel. It works. At, at, any Asian accent, it'll work. Howry. Howry. <laughs> you, you uh, was that was that was that okay? Oh, we want no, d- you, bro. Andrew Santino. He's, he he does this Andrew Santino <laughs> when he does it. I just I don't even have to do that. I already- <laughs> no, you do right. I think that's what it is. I think Asian. that's why. I, when I saw you, I go, it's an albino. Yao Ming like Asian. And Udon. Yeah. I want Paul, to... Udon dick. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? I, Asian eyes. Yes, yes. Fuck, dude. I want to find... bu- yeah, go ahead. I just want, I want to find some pictures of me as a kid because I looked really Asian as a child. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I had like white hair. So it was cute. We accept you. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're oh. in. You're in. Can, Asian? Can I? Asian? Yeah. Yeah, she's a, she's Filipino. She's Filipino. Filipino. Oh, yeah. That's full. That's a, that's full good. That's a one, too. I'm a full island. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Full Filipino? Yeah. Nice, dude. And I'm full, uh, guess. <laughs> Korean. That's right, baby. Really? The best kind. I, what do you I'd think? I love Korean. <laughs> you know, uh, can I want to say something? I don't want to say, I don't, I don't want you to feel weird about it, but I'm going to be, I'm going to, I'm going to freak out the room real quick. Okay. Oh uh, about him. Okay. Yeah. And I swear to God, I, and, and, and don't feel weird about it. I swear to God. Can't guarantee okay? it, but all right. All right. <laughs> if you're a woman, I would probably marry you. Really? Wow. Yeah. Compliment. Yeah, you're his type. You're my type. 
tall and lanky. Blonde. Lanky. Cause okay, so because he's always wanted to offset his short genetics, so he's always dated really tall girls, like five eight and above. Like his ex was five ten, always tall girls. He likes to climb trees. That's you're tall. Too. I'm five eight. You guys dated for a while, right? Yeah. yeah. And ten you're, you're how tall? Ten years. <laughs> I'm what? Five four. <laughs> ten years. Okay, I have long. Okay, yeah. You're five four. Well, what's I, up? Why? I, just because because you seem to, I don't know. Everyone kind of seem seems the same to me. So. You don't see the people below. You don't give a fuck. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, you don't go, oh, I that guy's five No, you're tall. See, and that's not, all you know. No, yeah. Well, it's like at, at my level, everything is a little bit, you know, like you could have told me you were 5'8 and I would have believed you. <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> but you're 5'6'2, you said? Five, I'm 5'6". Five, six, <laughs> five, six, now, how tall is he? Five, that's, six, my, that's Long Beach, baby. 5'6'2, oh, yeah. <laughs> motherfucker. Yeah, you're 6'2". I'm uh, six eight. You're six eight. See, so short people don't know six two to six we don't eight. Know, difference we don't lo live above us. <laughs> <laughs> you don't live below. I don't live above. You know what I mean? It's fine. It's weird. Six eight. Because a lot of younger people will will think I'm like six five. That's usually the guess. But if it's like old people, yeah, they'll be like, oh, you're six ten. You're like seven foot. I don't know exactly why there's that difference, but well, you tell people can do anything. Uh, you know who Peter Crouch is? Mm -mm. Peter Crouch was a English um, soccer player. He's retired now, but he. I, I, see, see how tall Peter Crouch is. I mean, I'll just. Show is he a you. defender? No, here, he's I'll, a center forward. I'll just what? show you. Here, this will explain. Just uh, here's a photo of him golfing. Okay. Oh my <laughs> god. <laughs> you see that's Peter Crouch. That's he's good. crouching. Yeah, yeah. He's literally <laughs> crouching. Yeah. And he he was like Holy he did one of the best bicycle kicks. Mm -hmm. Not bicycle. Yeah, yeah, he's done a bicycle kick. He's done so many like tremendous goals in his lifetime. But this dude was. Abuse. Anyway, I want to talk about fucking fuck Peter Crouch. Oh, that's cool. He's, it looks really tall. Yeah. Uh, and I mean, okay, but usually with sports, I'm not like I played like every sport when I was growing up. Yeah. And I was not good at that many. Not even basketball, which you'd you'd hope for. Uh, it, Why? I don't know. You can't like you'd think that we'd run faster, but a lot of times we don't because our legs are longer, but mm. we can't take as many steps. You know. Mm, uh, interesting. So in a foot race, you think Bobby could take you? Oh, that's a good question. I probably no. shouldn't do it right now with two broken arms, but yeah, well, yeah. yeah um, but not, I don't think in a in a speed race, if it's short distance, maybe I could. Yes. But anything uh, more than hundred feet. Yeah, you stand. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Really if it was race. like a fifty foot race, maybe. Let's yeah. plan it out for some point. Yeah, you know, I'll, I'll try. Yeah, me, you, and Theo, maybe. Yeah, Theo yeah, would yeah. win. Theo would win. The Theo probably. Uh, maybe. Yeah. But he's surprisingly athletic, and I think that don't let his. Um, People laugh when I you say that. I'm saying it for real though. Like you are so agile. Yeah, but Andrew Santino always says that you're not athletic. Well, sometimes you can be real, real coordinated, right? When you're, when you're, I think, I don't know. Sometimes people that are shorter. Yeah. My tour manager is five five. Uh huh. And he's a chubby guy, and he is amazing at like soccer, basketball, mm -hmm. pool. Everything. Whoa. Yeah, I guess you're right, but um, low center of gravity. Low center of gravity. I mean, I, I there's some things I know I could beat you in. Probably that log thing. What log, what log thing? Where they put the log in the middle of the lake and then oh, you try to balance? Log running. Oh, or you oh, run across it? I used to do that as a camp counselor. So. Oh, sh you were a camp counselor? <laughs> yeah, I was. Oh, I am tall, though, so it, it was hard, but. Yeah. <laughs> do you date short girls? Yes. Like, how tall? Short. <laughs> Dude. What's uh, the shortest girl you ever dated? 4'10. What? That's, that's aggressive. That's yeah. a pocket pussy. <laughs> <I> was. <re> <laughs> <laughs> That's your own living pocket pussy. It was very recently. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Really? Yeah. It was, it was, it was, she, she was a cheerleader and she's very little and I'm very large. It was, it was cute, but be, people would like, in public, you would think it was cute or kind of laugh at us a little bit. Yeah, it's like, um, what, 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 what's that? Blaster ma Master? You, you know what Blaster Master is? What's or Master Blaster? Master Blaster. Oh, you're talking about the is guy in the back. In the back. There's Master Blaster. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look it up. Yeah, it's, yeah, so um sex toy. Wait a second. If if a, a girl who's four ten is a pocket pussy to him, what is a tall girl to you? You're my pocket pussy? No. <laughs> it's like no. the those no, medieval you're machines dick. that like close on you, the middle <laughs> machines. That... That's the blaster. Oh, that's not what I was expecting that at all. Guy. So yeah. that's that's the guy, and then that's see that that's the head, and that's the body. She rides you. It's like a she, oh, her, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So that's you, and then the, she's right there on the shoulders. Like, yeah, I mean, if, if I guess if we like cuddle, I like to be uh, the baby spoon. Yeah, and, and uh, she's kind of like a backpack. <laughs> right, but but sixty nine must be hard. No, it's not actually. Really? She's flexible. I don't. I don't know. I people oh, always ask me that, and I've been with all my exes are like <laughs> under five three, and. Uh, I don't know. That's just how, how, it, how it turned out. And it's well, not. Just, you can stretch the torso, maybe? I don't know. I, I mean, maybe I'm just I'm leaning up a little bit. I don't really know. But oh, you hunch? 
Yeah. Oh, Peter Crouch. My, my, oh, you Peter, Peter Crouch. Crouch Peter Crouch. There you go. Yeah, 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 my, yeah. my Udon, you know, kind of. <laughs> I see. I see. Way, yeah, I yeah. see. I see. Yeah, yeah. Because we had a lot of logistical problems in ours, I think. A lot. A lot of yeah. logistics. This is the height or? Yeah, like he, doggy was impossible unless he wore like platform heels. Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, but also think about me with doggy. I gotta like, I gotta uh, like, I'll, I'll go into a hotel right. room and I will have to like look at the bed and like, <laughs> <laughs> right, right. Measure the height. Like, right, is this gonna work? Probably like, go on my knees. Yeah, and it's like, Do you, I, you know, I'll be honest with you, it's not my favorite position. Is it yours? Uh, it's up. It's up there. I, I do like being on the bottom because it's just easy and I like and my back. You, you, you mean your back, cowgirl, cowgirl? Yeah. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. You like being on your back? Oh, God, I mean, mm, what? What's the matter? Oh, I see. I thought yes. you. I thought you were saying you like being reverse cowgirl. That's like, weird. I you're was like, the you're the guy doing the girl. Thing. Yeah, no, it took me a sec too, but no, but no. What? What? What are you talking? I've never done that. What are you talking about? That's what she thought. The I'm reverse cowgirl. You, you? Me you reverse cowgirl me. <laughs> that, you know how, how do you do that? You know how so, pointless that would be. Just, you're on your back. Your asshole. In I'm her up. Uh, and I'm. You know what I mean? His dick curves. That, <laughs> oh, my dick would curve. Have to curve. And your assholes in her eyesight. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I've seen I've seen porn where they do stuff like that. Yeah. People, people get really creative. I, 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 you know what? In terms of creativity, I don't think I, the bedroom is the, the place. Mm -mm. For me, creativity in the bedroom is, no, I'm very traditional. Christian. Yeah, Christian, Christian, Christian. You know what I mean? You're Christian? Yeah. Be, be, I'm not Christian. You keep it Christian. I keep it keep Christian. It, okay, sorry. There's probably two positions for sure that has to be in play, which is missionary. Cowgirl. Excuse me? Cowgirl and Michigan, missionary? That was going to be my guesses. Yeah. Yes. Thank you so much. You're welcome. You're listening, right? Sometimes I'll do a side thing, but that's only because um, I slipped. Wait, what do you mean? You I'm on missionary. I go, you, whoa, and now, and now I'm doing a side oh, thing. You don't stop. You just yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's like an accident. Like a wind-up tilt. You tipped over. I tipped over. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And I want to make it, you know, I want to make it cool. I don't want to think that I'm like silly. Yeah, make it cool. So I go, yeah, I meant to do this. Make Woo. it cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, shit. I see that working. Wait, how'd you, how'd you break your arm? Oh, I was performing at a festival like two weeks ago, and <laughs> I fell on a. I was walk. I finished my whole set. It was probably one of the best sets of my of my career. It was in Alabama, and I was uh, walking back to the stage, and there's just I was giving out roses. That's like the last thing I do in my set, and I slipped on a piece of wood that was sticking up, and just face planted really uh. hard and. Everybody, so it was probably the biggest crowd I've had in a festival too. It was fifteen thousand people, and it was these giant, uh, big video walls that are cameras always on me, so everybody saw it. I'm embarrassing. And, and I, you I mean, I the Kelsey, thought, Kelsey Grammer, who Kelsey Grammer? Have you seen that fall? No. You knew who Kelsey the Grammer guy from no. Frasier. Frasier. He was an old oh. actor, sitcom guy, and he did a speech. I think it was a speech. Mm -hmm. My favorite line in it is like. And he fell off this gigantic stage, and you see the camera, you just see him fall. And then what, what's his line after? He that? goes, Dear God. Yeah, he says, Dear God. <laughs> <laughs> it's embarrassing. But yeah, so, anyway, the, so you I broke both, or? So I, broke, I broke this wrist and this elbow here, but my doctor just let me take off the sling. So I have to kind of, I kind of keep it like in this area, but I got to like move it a little bit to kind of heal it. And when you, when you fell, was it the most embarrassing thing? Well, I felt dumb, but I, I knew everyone was. I didn't realize that there was the video cameras filming me sure. the whole show. I didn't know that. <laughs> I was like, "Oh, these, yeah, yeah, these yeah. hundred people saw me," but now it was like fifteen thousand. Wow. <laughs> uh, I, I mean, I got up quick, and I, and I instantly knew that I probably sprained my wrist. Uh, but I was like, "It's fine. I've gotten hurt a lot," and I just kept giving out the roses. That, wow. that particular one was broken in half. But... Bro, you are so smooth. Look at this guy. Let me see. But look, look, look! He gets up. Yo, what's up? <laughs> Not affected at all. Oh and my god, so cool, dude! So I thought I was. Look fun. at that crowd! Holy that's a, that's shit! That's a pretty crazy crowd. Oh my god! The whole the whole thing was it was wild, but um, that is pretty smooth. Yeah, that's, that's so how, smooth. Is it? You Biden did, bro. <laughs> I, I think the opposite of Biden. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> wow. So um, and then after when you're backstage, you said to somebody like, "I think I go to the hospital." Well, no, I. Uh, just chilled out. I thought I sprained my wrist and it hurt. And I woke up the next morning and it was really hard to like put my hoodie. I thought I dislocated my elbow because it was like getting like stuck in like weird position. Wow. You know, weird. But I was like, oh, it's not going to be that big of a deal. And then my manager and my mom both convinced me to go to the hospital. And we went to MLK uh, down in Inglewood. Um, wasn't the greatest experience, but I, but I feel like <laughs> my, 
four or five hours, I got I got my uh, results back. And they're like, yeah, you broke your elbow and your wrist. Oh, my God. And uh, sprained your wrist. Maybe being tall, are, you, are your bones weaker? I don't, I don't know anything about doctors <laughs> or, or, or the biology or f- physiology, but... Maybe. I mean, I definitely fall farther, and that's part of why I've broken a you lot fall of bones. Farther. Fall farther. Yeah. Um, and I also just, with my, you know, hobbies, I, I get hurt a lot. I mean, well, touring, I've hurt, broken a lot of bones. I used to be a skier and got hurt a lot that way. Um, but also, I think mentally, I'm a little bit shorter than like 6'8", six, 6'7", six, whatever it is. Yeah. Um, maybe more like a 6'4", six, 6'5", six, in my brain. So then like there's a couple inches that are not fully accounted for. Oh, your brain's 6'4". So Where's I, your brain at? A trip a little bit. My brain's seven foot three. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? But yeah, I'm five four. So you think a little shorter. Maybe I think you should, I just, maybe you should just think your height. You, maybe you should think your height. I, I I mean I tried. It's more it's more just my my you know the coordination is not I think a little bit behind. And I'm not trying to slam you or anything, but um, you're a thin guy, right? But is you you want your whole body thin because like, your eyebrows are thin. My no, eyebrows are thin. He has good eyebrows. No, they're great eyebrows. I'm not saying that. Did I just say they were? Well, John, I don't did I, know. John, did I say it was? Did I, did I, I say it was? Th- did I say it was bad eyebrows? Yeah, but they're no. not thin. They're not thin at all. I just started all. thinking that started thinking I had like a condition or something. <laughs> Your eyebrows. Losing my eyebrows. Or something. Yeah, yeah, you're right. I guess now and now when I'm looking at it, Look at it seems not. All right. Well. Oh, my hair looks crazy. You guys didn't tell me that. Um, I didn't know what what it was like. It looks amazing. I don't know what. Yeah, my bad. About. I didn't know what it was like before, but I don't know how you like it. You know what I mean? <laughs> well, I mean. Th- that's my th- yeah, yeah yeah. That's well, my bad. I guess I didn't like research. Little, little yeah, but you know. Yeah, you guess that's you, fine. You, didn't. you know what I mean? Thin. I what else is thin? Um, <laughs> my wrists. We no. talked about the udon already. Yeah, yeah yeah. We don't have to get into the thin thing thing. thing. All right. Because you know what? I read it wrong, and now <laughs> by looking at your eyebrows, they seem pretty normal to me. Okay, thank you. And I apologize for that attack. Good. It's all okay. Good, man. Do you? Is there anything about me that you would like to um, well, please address? Please Now that I'm thinking about it, uh, do you have eyebrows? <laughs> or what is going on? Okay, that's you know. It just it that's an attack. Like that's the, an attack. But you know what? I I, I, I can roll with the be, punches. It kind of looks like you you got ash on there, or <laughs> like you had Ash Wednesday, but you kind of missed the forehead. Miss. Ash, you know, like, like I, I ash, lived in Pompeii when the fucking volcano. You know, like you know Ash Wednesday when like, they just put the little like, like Mark Wahlberg mark right here. <laughs> Why is Mark Wahlberg associated with Ash? Wednesday? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Promotes it heavily. Oh, good for him. Yeah. Yeah, you like, just got yeah. ashed on your forehead. <laughs> Is there really a mark there? No, no, no. no, just, no. Your eyebrows, I can't tell if it's hair or if it's just a smudge. <laughs> well, that's fucking rude. Well, I, I don't know. You, you asked. That's yeah. fucked up. I hadn't really thought about yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I mean, I don't, I'm not a hairy g- Whoa, what are you doing? Let me see if they're real. Oh, yeah, they're there. Maybe my eyesight's also not great. So <laughs> yeah, there's yeah, hair there. Yeah, there's there's hair. there. Let's yeah, talk, yeah. you know what? How about this? You know, I started the eyebrow thing, <laughs> right? And we had an eyebrow war, right? And let's call a truce. Wait, I think? have a really truce. good microblading lady. What the fuck is that? Her name's like Audrey Glass. What's a microphone? She's never gone like to her, sport. but she does good stuff. <laughs> you can, like, it's kind of like tattooed, but you tattoo the, to make it look like hair. That's what my mom did. Oh, yeah, but I've yeah. seen them and they look really weird sometimes. But she, not her. Hers is, like, incredible. Maybe try. Do they, wait, they, do they, Mike, it's, it's, you go to a tattoo artist, can a tattoo artist do it? Yeah, but she's specifically, like, a cosmetic, like, this is microblading. Wow. This isn't hers, but. And so, but that's permanent. It's like two years, I think. Then it starts to. Oh, it's two years. Out. I think yeah. as a, I don't know. Could you do do do, do men do it and it looks all right? Uh, <laughs> I don't know any men who've done it. Matthew, I think you should. But try. I think <laughs> if you do, I'll do it. If you do it, you know we what? Both should do. Dude, <laughs> honest, honestly, dude, you want a microblade with me, baby? <laughs> I want to get a just straight like jet black. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I, I, I'm going to do but... like a um, you know, I, you know, I'm a big Romulan fan. You know, I love Star yeah. Trek. You know what I mean? So I might do a Romulan thing. Yeah, what or like think? the, you know, the it old like, like mine? yeah, like yours. Yeah, yeah, I yours. You, I was just, I was looking at everyone's eyebrows. You got, you got nice ones. Yeah, thank you. Mm-hmm. What about oh, wait, wait, if, you, uh, if we're, we're since we're talking about eyebrows, what do you think it has? I like them. I think they're good. Nice, they, they don't have like the the shape and the shape, form. That's what I'm look. That's, that's what, what I'm gonna wants. do. Oh yeah. Okay, what do you okay, think? Okay. Okay. That'd be amazing. I'm not gonna do the forehead thing. Oh, and plus the with the beard implants you wanted. You maybe do your beard implants. Who knows? You know what I mean. I wonder if you could do it with your pubes down there. Can, is there any microblade with that or no? You want to add tattoos on your... Well, I don't like the way it's shaped. It's like shaped very John Holmes, like f- just 70s, bushy. What's wrong with that? Everyone has it, right? So I, I was thinking of maybe doing maybe a wavy thing on the top. 
Well, they're just gonna get a like get it groomed that way. Oh, that's style. style. Yeah, yeah. Or maybe like do something f- racist, but no one will know. <laughs> like maybe get a little swastika or something. <laughs> So you just want a swastika tattoo on your? Well, it'd be cool just to have it down there, and then when you're talking to Jewish people, you just you just know it. Uh, we, don't have to cut. <laughs> we might have to what? We might have to, where we might have to cut, this, we have to cut that out. I don't know. I'm just I'm free thinking. You know what I mean? So you know, I went to the eyebrow that didn't work, right? And now I'm going to the fucking uh, swastika pube thing. Well, yeah. that'd be cut a really that. like interesting social experiment. If that's you, what I'm saying, you had that, and then when you hooked up with <laughs> women for the first time, you're right. You just yeah, act complete normal, and you see if if they react at all. Right. That's you're what right, I'm saying. Matt. Maybe you're not, right. maybe not that. Maybe not that, but something a little bit like tame. Yeah. What is the better? Like, like maybe like, I know something. Yeah, less genocide-y. Um, <laughs> how about like a face? Like, hey, how about it's your your no, face, your own Marjorie face. Taylor Green. Okay. Oh, like a portrait of her. a portrait of her. That's a that's a that's a conversation starter. Or Herschel Walker. I don't know who that is. Or, <laughs> or oh, you don't know? I don't know Marjorie Taylor Green. She's like a Republican. Like, um, I think she's a Congresswoman, but she's like very oh, far, very far, far right, right, very far right. You Who's know. the one? I re- someone told me to reference. I don't pay enough attention to politics, but uh, I referenced a girl on a song recently. It's like she's got three letters. It's a three letter acronym. AOC. 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 You reference her, but you don't know who she. So I'll get AOC. Yeah, because my I, they told me the, the gist of her, and I was like, whatever. This is this is good. She's <laughs> she's she's like uh, Marjorie Taylor Greene, but Others. the uh, other side. And it wasn't like a oh like I'm promoting politics. Most. It was like I want to fuck AOC. I do too. Yeah. <laughs> So I'll get AOC I and you too. get Marjorie. Yeah, 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 I don't want to fuck her. You have to, though. Okay, but, you can get, but just for your pube Have you design. seen Ma- Major, Marjorie Taylor Greene? You don't want to fuck her. If her name's Marjorie, I could assume it's not great. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's not great. Yeah, that's her. She looks kind of like me, actually. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Wow, you're right. I, I thought you wanted to... That's, that's what you want to breed with. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, she's short. Also, oh, she, she's short. Oh, yeah, she, there you go. Oh, that's your thing. And also, she, I heard there's a rumor that she has... Troll feet. I don't know what it is. What are troll feet? Just, just go. Up. I, I don't know. I, I've never Googled it. I, I don't know. But people have called her that. So I, I mean, feel bad for politicians because anything. Those. That's not her feet. No, but that's just troll feet. So we have a reference. Board. Wait, wait, I know that. Okay, go to Marjorie Taylor Green though. You want troll me to type feet. in feet? Marjorie Taylor. Uh, yeah, Green. Marjorie Taylor Green feet. She's on Wiki feet. Uh, let's see. Oh, I do. Oh, you, got, are, you guys on Wiki feet? Oh yeah. Yeah, we both are. His rating's really good because really he cheated. Good. Okay, I don't so, know if someone said got, this. So that's, those are her feet. Oh, they are trolly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Slightly. See, yeah. P- people that are like, I don't know if it's Paul. I guess it happens to me too. People, <laughs> Why are we shaming her feet? It's, yeah, like why do people care? Like, people have weird things. I like care. That. My congresswomen have to have normal feet. <laughs> I care. I care, okay? That's fucked up. <laughs> yeah, that's see, worse than fucking uh, policy. QAnon. Than policy. It's so fun. he had a really shitty wiki feet rating. I think it was like a two out of five and then he went on h3 podcast and basically begged h3 fans to um oh, up his genius. rating so now he has like a perfect five out of five wow there they Wiki love feet you have yeah uh yeah 4.85 4. 4. wow. is that good five. yeah i mean yeah. Can, you, can i see mine quick i'm, yeah. I'm curious yeah let me look for yours that's not my foot to the left that's what the de- fuck that's definitely your foot dude <laughs> did you sprain the shit out of your that's foot? not my foot man oh okay Young. i'm gonna sue them yeah. That's not my foot, man. Wiki feet. That's crazy. This exists. What am I? Young gravy. There. Wow. Good rating. Four what is point four eight? Couple. Four and a half out of five. Is mine higher? Yeah. yeah it's higher. It's it. higher. That's just the way it is. Yeah. That's the way she That's goes. People the, really the, is that your really foot? Yeah, that's my. That's my really foot. <laughs> <laughs> I like your really foot. <laughs> yeah. Man. Uh, the toe. The the, the I actual have a missing toenail right there. Oh, you do? Yeah. It looks a little Why bad. is that longer than? I mean, I guess that's the way it goes. Yeah, it's descending foot length. That's really good. Like that's an attractive trait, I think. Wow. Oh. Sunday, this, this oh, oh, for the, oh, for the wiki feet. Yeah. For the wiki okay. feet. I thought you were just saying like personally you're into a foot that <laughs> <laughs> no, um, slopes. Oh, gosh. Talk to, talks about it. It's like descending toe length is the thing for him. Mm. So I guess it's a real thing. Okay. I think it was Akash. Did you know that I lived in Minnesota? My okay, so my DJ is a, is a. I mean, I'm a fan too, but he he want he's the type to like when I'm listening to music. Uh, when I'm on, a, uh, we fly everywhere all the time. Always, you know, suffer. I'm I don't know, hungover or something. I'm always listening to like easy listening music, something mm. chill, relaxing. He's listening to long YouTube videos explaining someone's whole life, and I think he did yours at one point. And we're both from Minnesota, mm. so we kind of get bonded over that. But then yeah. I look, I tried to like earlier today look it up, and I couldn't find anything about it. So I just, what do you mean? Well, I guess I just went on Wikipedia and it said San Diego, and that was about it. But yeah, people leave out the eight years I lived in Minnesota, but I'm from Adina. Adina. Yeah, yeah. What years? 
1972 to 1982. So I'm guessing you're a, like a tiny child at that time. <laughs> well, I mean, a normal child. <laughs> well, no, I'm sorry. I'm, a four foot child. I meant, I meant you tiny. were very. <laughs> I, I mean, I don't sorry, even know you were very young. Means. You were very yeah, yeah. young. I mean, I that meant. was another slam. But, you, know, <laughs> you know, I mean, I was unintentional. It. Just, I, it's not really. It's, but <laughs> anyway, yeah. I was, I was trying to compliment a, your age. I was a tiny child. I was trying to compliment your age and say you were very young. <laughs> I was young. Time. I was a young okay. guy. Yeah, I was probably. Well, I was born in '71. So when I was one years old, um, we moved to Minnesota. So you, do you remember anything about it? Oh yeah, a lot. I remember it being cold. Mm -hmm. I remember back then there were not a lot of Asians at all. There's, I mean, there's Asians there, but not not but in the seventies. No, not as many as California. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It was weird. I remember um, now. There's a famous story about me being molested by a guy with Down syndrome. Oh, that was there. <laughs> that was there. <laughs> yeah. so, so excited. Why did you? <laughs> oh my god, that was there. That's just that's, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, I think we, we. I don't know. That's concerning. It's not like you're. You know what I mean? Like, feel, are, you gonna go to, are you going to the spot? Like it's Al, the Alamo. Like, let's take photos. <laughs> let's take a tour. Let's take photos in front of this thing or whatever. You know what I mean? No, I just feel. I feel guilty that we. I feel like I'm part of it now. No, but um, <laughs> and you know, I go in and out if that happened or not. Now I'm. Now I believe it happened. So you you think your brain's blocking it out? Well, like a couple of months ago, I said on this podcast that it, I made it up, which I thought I did. But then now I'm thinking, of, uh, when I lay down in bed, I, I think, I see the hand. So all the, <laughs> you know I mean? so all the years before you ever did a podcast or comedy or anything, yeah, were you thinking about it in that era? Because I feel like that would be... Well, I, I think when my, my brother was like, really? Because one time he heard me say it out loud on a podcast, and he goes, really? Because um, I remember that guy, and I thought he just, you know what I mean, pulled out a magazine, and we just watched magazines like porn magazines mm -hmm. and he had candy but i'm like i think that he you know what i mean touched me but i don't know for sure but did he have down syndrome for sure so so you know every time that you your brain every time that you think of a memory mm. uh whatever you think about that memory when you bring it back to the front of your brain or whatever whatever you think that time gets saved it's not like you have the original memory; it like kind of rewrites yes. itself. Oh. Yes. It like rewrites Whoa. itself every time you think about something. So people like this. This occurs where people will, you know, be associating a ne something negative, or they'll be in a bad mood when they think of something, and then they'll start adding things to it or changing it. And then if like you can literally start picturing real things that hap like you think happened that didn't happen because your brain is remembering it differently. Wow. Yeah, I always equated it to like my brain ha is like a writer's room. Mm. Yeah, maybe you have one writer. I have fifty writers in my room, and they just <laughs> just rewrite things. Yeah. You know what I mean? But that does ring true. So, that being said, then I'm going to go with it. Probably didn't happen. Well, I would think maybe you had a little something because I know that I've had experience where where something happened, and then I'll like think about it over over time and like add more to it or change the story in my mind and, mm. then, and literally you'll literally picture it that way like i'll have physically see that happening wow and then maybe something did happen but it wasn't as significant as you thought so you know i, I it's do, interesting i do um emdr um therapy where you've done it yeah where it's basically it like you get like bilateral stimulation so that you access like both sides of your brain so that you can kind of tap into a memory much clearer. And you're right, like a lot of the things that I remember as a child, I sort of misremember and like kind of frame differently as an adult, either because I needed to cope with it in this way. But like if I'm going to like the core of it, it's very different. Like the memory is different or what happened was truly different. I just explain it differently as an adult to myself and to other people. Yeah, and also it's like, you know, I've been doing radio since the 90s. I mean, you know what I mean? I've done thousands and thousands and thousands of hours and you have, you know, you just make shit up or you, you know what I mean? Or like you, like if you told a story to a friend or in a social situation as is, it just, it's not, no one would give a fuck. Mm -hmm. Do you agree or no? Like if you told a story just the way it happened, Right or do you, do you think that human beings embellish it so that people can go? Oh, that's a great story. People embellish it for yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know if I, I. I in some cases I'd say I do. I have some really weird. I'm sure we all do, but I've had some really particularly weird long stories. Yeah, I told on other podcasts. Not and you, here, it's just I've said it too many times. But like, but the, I have a lot of stories that <laughs> that just sound ridiculous and they're all factual and. Then, 
Right, right, right. right then right. there are some where they're boring enough where it's like, oh, I can't really say all this without adding a little sauce to it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Sauce. Sauce, sauce. Is your dad tall? Uh, so my dad was 6'6". Six, six. I mean, six. Say, yeah, wow, so. I'm dumb. Six foot. Six, fuck, oh, six foot, six foot. Still yeah, not six, tall. six. Still very tall. What I was going to say is, is my mom isn't tall either, but her, all of her, like her siblings and her dad and stuff are pretty tall. So I do have tall in, in the family. It's in the genes. Mm-hmm. And did you spurt up right away or did you, you're short and then all of a sudden? I think I was, you know, it's weird. I think I was like at one point, like the tallest, like, you know, middle school and, and elementary school. And I like didn't like it. And then other people started kind of catching up and I felt more comfortable. But I was definitely one of those guys that would like slouch because I felt What was weird. the nicknames? Uh, I didn't have, I didn't, we didn't really that, have that much bullying or anything. Oh, I don't boy. know. Wow. I guess, yeah. I don't know. And I got along with everybody. Nicknames were like. Maori, you know, Matt Howery. Uh, just, <laughs> yeah, yeah, Just, yeah. you know, casual cute ones. Matty Ice. Every, everybody named Matt has had a Matty Ice at some point. Yeah. Wait, is it true that you used to live in a commune? Yes. What age? That might be, that one might be some embellishment because it, was, it wasn't it was like... What's a commune? Uh, okay, here's how I'll know. Can you define a commune? Maybe even look it up? Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. 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 I... I I vaguely know what a commune is. I kind of it's like a group the of people living together, living, but yeah. there is some stigma attached to a commune because of the cults and things. But like is that. there yeah. an ideology and a philosophy? A group of people living together and sharing possessions and responsibilities. Okay, so then I did, but 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 I. <laughs> <laughs> I sp- so I did. <laughs> I spoke with somebody else about it who had lived in a, a much different commune, and yeah. it was like, okay, maybe I didn't. Theirs was more culty, but yeah, uh, there's a difference between cult and commune. I think. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So you grew up in a commune? No. Okay. So this, this is a, <laughs> what? This is a, this was a brief, a brief uh, sort of period of my life. Uh, it was in where were we talking about before this? Oh, me as a kid. Oh, so anyways, I got I leveled out with everybody, and then randomly after I think it was because I just got more confident and like became a rapper, I just got like two more inches. Mm. I think maybe you can like mentally just tall, tall on yourself. So. Whoa, I never mentally did that. <laughs> Try it now. It's never too late. I, went, I, don't, I think it's too late. <laughs> Wait, that's what happens with swimmers. That's why we're so broad and big backed. Yeah, it's why? It's like the activity we do like shapes our body. So I thought maybe something about rapping and being bigger than life. Or that's I, thought it, I thought it was just a mental thing. I don't know. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you're sitting there going like, yeah, yeah. Tall, no, but like you have to exist in like a bigger way. So maybe. So in high High school, I should have said, I want to be a high jumper. <laughs> yes. No, right? but you should have actually practiced high jumping. Yeah, I would have. Because I think- If I knew that that was a fucking thing, no one told me that was a fucking thing. That you could <laughs> yeah, you mentally, mentally grow you stuck your body. You freaking ping pong. And that's why you didn't grow. Well, because my parents had a ping pong table in the, in the garage. <laughs> we didn't have a, a high pole, jumping ball. Yeah, a pole vault thing. <laughs> well, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, I, it's, I, I, you know, I wish this is information that I knew when I was a kid. Right? <laughs> There's a lot of things that we know now that should, they should have taught us as a kid. Yeah. Right. I think the number one thing is you don't have to have a regular job. Yeah. Mm. When you were a kid, when I went when high school, I remember we had um, some career like there was this, like we had career counselors. Okay. And you had to go in and they look at your grades and they go, um, well, "We think you should be this." You know, it's always wood shop with me. <laughs> I don't know wow. what that meant, but like, or metal work. Wow. I, go, I don't know how to use anything. I don't that. think they're wrong about that. Why? I think you're so good with your hands and making things. All right. Nice. But I think so, that, but I go, I, but I remember looking at it and go, is there any other option? <laughs> and they're like, that's it. And, I, and then I, I remember years of going, oh man, I'm going to be a carpenter <laughs> or whatever, right? And then I realized now, no, you can do whatever. I t- I'll tell yeah. fart jokes. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right? Like they never, probably in high school, they never said, oh, you'll be, a, you could be a rapper. Yeah, no. I, I grew up in a town, Rochester, Minnesota, which is where the Mayo Clinic is, which is like the biggest hospital mm-hmm. in America. And so. You mean by biggest in terms of size? I think or? most employees and like most, you know, Technology. renowned and like, yeah, people will, there's a lot what's of it called? What's it called? The Mayo Clinic. You've never heard. You've probably like looked up, if you have like a weird like thing going on, you want to look up symptoms. Like, it's usually the first result. For like a lot of stuff and Mayo Clinic, Mayo Clinic, like Mayo mayonnaise, yeah, 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 yeah. Never heard of. I it. went to Mayo High School, um, but people would there'd be a lot of people in my hometown that were from you know it was like Saudi Arabian princes and like Damn. people from mad different countries because only that hospital has like the equipment to to treat certain rare Whoa, conditions. Oh, that's interesting. Anyways, everybody was in the medical fields, and my my mom is retired now. She was a psychiatrist. And my dad was a psychologist, like studying insomnia. 
So ooh, ooh. I just oh, okay. We'll go, I just thought I was gonna end up going into like medicine or something, or I thought I was gonna end up going to college for eight or twelve years or something. Uh, and then when I went to college, I started with physics and I tried biology and I hated all that. And I switched up to a bunch of different things. And then I ended up in business. And that's when I like, I started as a business kid and then like, but I loved hip hop. And then I just realized like, yo, I was starting other little businesses and I thought, oh, why don't I just make wow. myself into one? Were your parents, because they're both physicians, were they like, come on, Matthew? Okay, so, well, first of all, my dad died when I was 16. So I hadn't oh. even thought about being a rapper yet. I'm sorry. It's all good. Thank you. Were you close to him? Pretty close. Oh my yeah. god. He was born in Swiss he's born in Switzerland. He's much, much older than How most old was dads. It? Well when, when I was sixteen and he passed, he was seventy almost about to turn eighty. Whoa. Wait, yeah. that's like me. Yeah. Her her dad was sixteen. I always, me, Theo, you Yeah, yeah. Theo has I think he he flexed on me because his dad was actually older than mine. <laughs> Wait, when was your? Because my dad was born in 1924. Oh, wow! Okay, wow! Yeah. Like, Think of that. How old are you? I'm 38. Okay, okay. So it's kind of the same difference. I'm I'm 27. My dad was born in 1933. Mm. Wow! Oh, I think you have me beat. You have yeah, barely. Sure. But yeah. yeah, you're good at math because I had to really think about that. <laughs> I, that was a guess. <laughs> okay, well, um, still. But wow, that's crazy. That's insane. My mom is 66, I believe. Now, so they had a big gap. Say my my parents had a thirty six year age. Holy moly! Okay, my mine's twenty three. I thought that was a lot. Or twenty one, but it's thirty six. Yeah, so thirty six. How old's your mom? She's still she's right? sixty two now. Okay. So, but but in two thousand three, my dad died when he was eighty. That was in two thousand three. Wow, we have a very similar. Was my dad? I mean, he was about to turn eighty. Yeah. In two thousand thirteen. Everything is just 10 I years. I always think old sperm makes the weirdest, funniest kids. Like Josh Peck, I think same thing. Yeah. Bad, yeah. Um. That's why I've been. I'm, that's why I don't have children now, because when I'm, I'm gonna do it when I'm later. Like Larry, yeah, yes. I'm gonna make funny kids. I want to do that too. A lot, of, a lot of my good friends have, or a lot of my really good friends have really old parents. Wait till you're sick in your sixties, then. So yeah, you can yeah. Make like a funny little weirdo. I want one with like that Marty Feldman eyes. <laughs> you know who Marty Feldman is? <laughs> look at Marty. A Feldman. lot of names. And I look at Marty Feldman. Yeah. <laughs> why did you? Well, I, I, I want. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, yeah, this yeah, guy. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You want your child to have those eyes. Yeah, I, I'm going to go so old, right, that my uh, my kid is going to have weird eyes like that. Did you Marty up, Feldman. Did you look up his eyes or just him in general? Just him. Wow. <laughs> that's, what comes up. That's, that's his natural eye. Okay. Yeah. Wow. If you ever want, honestly, a great movie to watch, it's one of the funniest movies ever fucking made. It's a Mel Brooks movie. It's called Young Frankenstein. Oh, I've seen that. Yeah, I don't. He, Marty Feldman. He was the. He was the. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I never put that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but I'm a big. I'm a big movie guy. If you if you're into movies, ooh, that's why you know. I, I, I don't think I don't know if this is racist, but when you asked <laughs> what what type of Asian you were, yeah, uh, I kind of based. I'm I'm really into Korean film, and I just kind of you reminded me of some of the actors I've seen. Fuck yeah, man, in those movies. I'm Isn't, handsome. Yeah, Min Sik Choi. Yeah, Min Sik Choi. He's in uh, Old Boy. Where's their poster? That's my favorite movie. Yeah. Oh, you have that in here? Yeah, it's over there. So I just don't know. Where, but, uh, yeah, where the oh, fuck right, is it? Right there. It's right there behind you. That's one of my, I mean, probably my top number one favorite movie ever. That's, that's That movie I gave to Bill Burr years ago on DVD. And he goes, fuck, you gave me an Asian movie, You're right? <laughs> and I remember him a couple of months later calling me and going, bro, insane. Yeah. That's, I, it's a great fucking movie. It's such a turn so, off. I, I want to hear something because I don't. I've probably seen, I mean, I've seen all the class, like Parasite I've seen, I've seen um, Train to Busan, you know what I mean? But maybe you can uh, recommend some deep cuts. Uh, here, I'll just name some off. Bro. Yeah. There's The Wailing. I we love loved The loved Wailing. It. Okay. Wow, that it was such a underrated Great movie. movie. Yeah, insane. Insane. Uh, what else is there? Mother. Great movie. Memoirs Great movie. of a Murderer. It was oh. a classic Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I saw the devil. Great. One of the best. Okay. I'm mixing Choi's in that too. Okay. Okay. Good. Yeah, 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 yeah. Those are like the ones that come to mind right away. There's definitely some deep cuts I've seen. That Let me ask you something. If if you dated a girl and she got, I don't like Asian movies. That's, I was gonna say that's deal one breaker. Of like the one of the tests is like sending over some of those, and a lot of people just don't even like to watch a movie with subtitles. Like, yo, you haven't done it yet. You haven't seen Old Boy. You haven't seen one of some of the bangers. City of God. If any girl ever said that to me. You're fucking out. In fact, I'm going to hurt you. Not physically, but mentally. You know what I mean? Or don't do that. I'm not going to even do that. Don't do it physically. Or not. I'm not going to hurt you at all. No abuse. Except she is. No, I'm not going to accept it either. I don't have to accept it. 
Just but don't call me again. Is that yeah. cool? Yeah. That's yeah, you're right. I, great answer. I, I went too far. Yeah, I'm not going to kill you him. You worked too That's far. Insane. Way too far, right? <laughs> Just don't call me again, right? Because it's like one of those, it's another, here's another one, is, you know, a girl, if a girl goes, I don't like seafood. Not that they're allergic, right? That I won't do sushi. Like if that was, is that a red flag for you? Uh, well, I actually grew up not liking seafood at all. <laughs> <laughs> I know friendship but I, over, but I but I started friendship over, dude. See, I started figuring it out. I started. I love sushi and I love like crustaceans, but I can't. Really, <laughs> I can't really get down. I can't really get down with like a salmon slab. You know, I can't really do that. salmon slab. You what know when they just yeah, yeah yeah. Maybe it's more Midwest, but they'll serve you like walleye or like filet. Yeah. I a love full I sandwich. love walleye. I just I can't get into that. That's a sandwich. I meant like a full steak of of fish, but yeah, I, do, I love raw? sushi. It's cooked. Oh, cool. Maybe that's yeah. what turns me off. I don't know. I like I like like tuna tartare and everything. So I but I used to not like seafood. Caviar. Nah, that's weird. Whoa. I think I I don't know. As a business person and, and just growing up like, you know, being very frugal, I I just think about every bite is like ten bucks and it tastes <laughs> like, Oh, right. I see, I see. I, I see. see. It's yeah, yeah that's it what it is. Doesn't feel worth it. Yeah. You know? But whenever like there's an option of like Two, you know, two different kinds. You always, yeah. We went to one that was like, I think we were in, Andrew and I were in Indiana or something, and one of them was $385, and then the other caviar was $75. I go, I'll take the $75, because I'm not going to know the difference. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, right. especially, Do you? No, because I haven't been eating caviar that long. Yeah. I'm not, I'm not going to eat the 385 and go, oh, this is a lot more deeper in texture. Yeah. But, I would, but maybe yeah, it yeah, is. Yeah, yeah and, and saltier and oakier. Okay. You know what I mean? Like, I, there's no way. I'm going to be like, no, it tastes like fish eggs. Yeah. And I'm yeah. also really, like, impressionable if someone were to be like, well, this is that. I'll believe what they're saying. And then, oh, you, what you're saying is that if they brought up the 75 one, but you, they charge you 385 you yeah, would. Yeah, I'd fall for yeah, it. Yeah, me like, too. I would fall for it, yeah. I know nothing about caviar, but I like it. Yeah. yeah. So so seafood is not that of a red flag for you then? No, it's not. Okay. For me, for me, it's with food. I don't know. That's red flags. The movie The movie thing is big. Actually, with the, with that 410 girl, I... <laughs> she initially didn't want to watch any Asian movies, and so I, I eased her into it with uh, everything, everywhere, all at once. Because there's a lot of Asians in this movie, yeah. And uh, you know, maybe this will be a good start. And she loved that. So then I got her to watch uh, Old Boy, and it, it kind of worked out. It did. Uh, yeah, yeah. She so got into it. You just kind of got a. That's a big jump. Yeah, from yeah. that to that. To... But yeah, I don't know. I just she, she was like, I don't have really seen Asian cinema. I, was like, I think I just kind of convinced her that it was. By Asian directors, I don't believe it is everything everywhere all at once. Uh, it is, yeah. The director, half, half the brothers, yeah. Oh, okay, okay, got it, I got it. Yeah, half the brothers are. Let me ask you. I'm, I'm, I'm going to see some. Wait, red wait. Huh? I'm sorry, half the bro half the brothers. Or sorry, uh, half the duo. My bad. Okay, got it. Yeah, yeah. that was <laughs> <laughs> half the brothers. Half the are brothers said, I let it go, but <laughs> you know, I was going to edit that out. Yeah, <laughs> keep it. Because that was fucking insane. What you just said. Um, <laughs> let me. I, I'm going to say some. So I, we're, we're on a first date, and if a girl said, you know what, I don't like anything sci-fi or fantasy. Like, none of those movies. Like, fuck it. I, I, I can't watch it. It's stupid. With dragons and shit? Is that a red flag? I just don't get why. Like, why? Like, why can't you just give it a try? I'll, I'll watch anything. You know? Me fucking too, yeah. man. You know what I mean? Although, I don't like colonial movies. <laughs> <laughs> so you won't give it all a try. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> You're right. Like, you know, like, when it's like, you know, dangerous liaisons or like, you know, colonial 17th, 18th English society. Oh, I love there, that. Like, like, yeah, like, yeah, I know what women love that shit. Like fantasy. Barry, Barry Lyndon or something? Yeah. Like one of those. Whoa. That's, that's Did you see Barry Lyndon? Yeah. Um, yeah. That's, a, that's insane. That's a deep cut um, Kubrick movie. Yeah, kind of deep cut. Dude, you're a movie guy. I am, yeah. Tastic. Because before I was like, he likes Asian movies, but when you threw up Barry Lyndon, my friend, <laughs> that was a deep cut. <laughs> Fuck you, John. <laughs> I, I thought I hated that stuff too, and then I watched that one, and I was like, oh, "This is kind of tight." I don't like how they, I don't like the hair and the talking and stuff. Right, it was, it was cool. Yeah. No, because I, here's why I don't like it. It's just that I can't see myself, someone that looks like me, in that world. I feel like they would just be like, "Ta ta," you know what I mean? Oh, so like when I watch like the Tudors or any of that stuff, like about King Henry, you're out. Yeah, but think about if you were there with them, they just they would treat you like shit, dude. Yeah, that's true. Like in Ma like Mad Men, I would try to get into Mad Men, and then one of the executives and Mad Men goes, "Bring that Chinaman over." <laughs> and as soon as he said, I swear to God, he said that in the fucking show. Oh my! And I God. fucking push pause. I go, "Fuck you, Mad Men!" Wow. Because in back in the fifties and sixties, at ad agencies, wait, did they have any Asians in all of the seasons of Mad Men? Yeah, uh, there was a guy like doing janitor work, and they <laughs> referenced to him as a as a Chinaman. 
Wow. <laughs> right? And I'm like, I can't get behind this. I know that's the way they talked, you know what I mean, in the 50s and 60s, but it's just like, I just, I'm not in that world. They wouldn't accept me. But why'd you like Game of Thrones? Because it's a fantasy. I was going to say, yeah, it's not. That's not really Earth. <laughs> There's no White Walkers, you know what I mean, in reality. There were no Asians, though. They tried, they tried. They tried. At the end, they just um, put the, made them like little... What does that mean, they tried? They did. They had a, a couple Asian actors dressed as like the tree people or whatever. What? Oh, that's right. They tried. The tree, also, the tree. Let me say something. The White Walker, we could have been one of them. They're, right. We're just, we're just light blue like everyone else. <laughs> well, we, the eyes could be like this. You know what I mean? Or they don't have to be that tight. What? You don't have to always <laughs> so hard. You know, you know, I, I know oh, you're right. <laughs> It's just mine, then. It's yours. Yeah. I don't have to do with this. Just yeah, do it. Say. You yeah. know what show you'd love, then? <laughs> it's like a mix of, like, the colonial stuff you hate, yeah. but they actually have um, Asians in it is Bridgerton. Oh, Bridgerton, yeah. But here's what I don't like about that, either. What, not realistic? It's not realistic. Okay, so what makes you... So, no, my... my here's... <laughs> Shut up. You don't understand my point. Do you understand what I'm saying or no? Um, well, I also <laughs> just don't like it, because I think... I, I don't like that stuff, either, for different reasons. It's just kind of... I don't know, the all proper stuff, and it mm. just seems, I don't know. I, if it was funny, is that funny? Uh, um, uh, yeah, it's not it's like a, yeah, it's uh, like, I saw part of like a humorous one. Oh, it was a uh, Yorgos Lanthimo movie. What oh, was God, that? I love him. What was that movie he made that was colonial? The, uh, with the, with the, the maidens that were like beefing? Um, I don't know, I like that, it was funny. Uh, you should watch that. The Favorite? No. The Favorite, The Favorite, yeah. The Favorite. I'll watch it. That's a cool movie. That guy, that director has some crazy stuff. He did the lobster? He did the lobster. Oh, he's the oh, lobster's of great. Killing of a Sacred Deer, right? Killing of a Sacred Deer, you seen that? Yes. This guy, this guy has a lot of bangers. Yorgos Lanthimos. Yeah, this is really Wait, early. wait, is that that same, same guy same that did the lobster? Yeah. 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 What's the last movie that I liked? Yeah, we did uh, Killing of the Sacred Deer is what we saw. Crazy. That's what we saw. Colin Farrell? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You guys got to watch oh, Dog yes. Tooth. Have you heard of that? Is that oh, same guy? I think it was his first movie. Dog Tooth is yeah, that one. It is. Oh, he has so many good. Wait, doesn't he have a new one coming out? I don't know. Yeah, he has. I just saw a trailer for a new one, and but, it looks insane. But I would love for any of you guys to watch that movie, Dog Tooth. It I'll watch Dog Tooth. Crazy. Is it about the teeth? It's it's dog teeth. You know, all those movies are weird, but this is probably the weirdest. Is it about tuna? It's about <laughs> why? What? Oh, just dog tooth. Oh, tuna. dog tooth. The that's type of tuna. Okay, yeah. no, it's about. Um, wait, wait, wait. So stop. I'm sorry. What? There's <laughs> dog tooth tuna. It's a very type of, popular type of. That's tuna. the name of it. It's uh, a tuna with teeth of a dog. No, it's just the name. Okay, let's, let's, let's move on. Fish looks like okay. So basically. <laughs> <laughs> name it something else. The story is. How about like name a, it something else? It, it's How like, about fish teeth tuna? <laughs> I, don't, I don't really want to eat. That would make. Dog. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's why they had to rename mahi mahi because it's called dolphin fish or like oh, um, yeah. like Chilean sea bass. It's, it's Antarctic toothfish. Tooth fish. Right, they have to change. So if that. you had to put toothfish on a menu, it well, doesn't sound cute. But as but as a dog tooth tuna. Maybe you want to keep the name or because they, they won't eat you then. Yeah, they call them doggies though. Like when you spear fishermen. Oh, they still eat them? Yeah. That's they great. shoot them. My friend court, like holds the record as a spear. Let's move on. Yeah, okay. Cool. <laughs> so dog tooth. Movie. I'll watch it. <laughs> Movie. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's, a, it's a dad who like raises his children really weird in this house and it's okay. Very trippy. It's a little bit disturbing, but it's good. Really? Mm -hmm. So let's do this then, my friend. Okay. I'm gonna name you. 10 movies of my all-time favorites. And maybe we can do the same. You can do the same. Yeah, I'd love to. And maybe we, we, some of the lists. So I'm going to I'm gonna throw out one. Right okay. now, okay. I'll throw out one, then you throw out one. Do you want to play this game? Yeah, I'd love to. Yeah, because I really like you. I like you. It's nice. <laughs> <laughs> I can tell that hit. Genuine. It's, it's, yeah. So um, my I, I would say being there. With Peter Sellers? Yeah. I've only watched half of it. I have it torrented and I, I didn't finish it. <laughs> and that fucked up. I was on a flight though, so it wasn't my fault. Um, but you know the movie. I haven't That's seen it. I, want, I need to finish it. Okay, I'll finish it. Um, Give me one. City of God. <gasps> love that I movie. Love. Okay. Whoa, dude. Great. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Paris, Texas. I haven't seen it. I've heard a lot of good things though. I'll watch it. Is it that was pretty chill, right? It's kind of low key. It's not, there's not really that big of a story. It's just, um, it's one of those kind of like um, mood, like it just, I just get a feeling out of, you know how sometimes you watch a movie, there's not that big of a plot or there's not, there's just a feeling. It's Paris, Texas, okay. Yeah, yeah. And, and Harry Dean Stanton is so good in this movie. Okay. 
All right. Yeah. yeah you know, I've, I've been recommended a lot. But it's not like, there's no twists or turns. There's no Shyamalan yeah. twist in it. You know what I mean? They're kind of like the, what's the movie that Red Rocket? Did you see that? With no. Simon Rock? I saw it. No, I saw oh, Red Rocket. Right. I saw Red Rocket. All that I went to the premiere. Sean, his, Sean Baker, maybe. Mm. Sean something. His All his movies are very, just a vibe, you know? Yeah, like, I like vibe. Feel it, it and, but there's not like a crazy story. Give me one, buddy. Didn't I just go? What'd you say? Oh, you said Paris, Texas. No, I'm not. No, you said City of God. Yeah, 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 yeah. So it's my turn now. Uh, Survive Style 5 Plus. Whoa. Hmm. What the fuck? Survive Style. Sounds like a band. It's Japanese. It's it's kind of. Oh, uh, he's, going, he's going international right now. Yeah. No, wait, it's wait. Kinda... It's, it's not like. what What's that movie, that Japanese movie I like where all the high school kids, they kill each other on an island? Battle Royale. Battle Royale. Royale. Love, Love that movie. Love that movie. Yeah. yeah. Survive Style oh, 5. Sick poster, though. Dude, when did this come out? Uh, maybe early 2000s. And that's great. Huh? Is that movie oh, great? It's, it's epic. Yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> it's really it's it's funny and like weird and it's very one of the main actors of, is is really popping now. Uh, look at the cast real quick. Yeah. Um, and he's he's literally in like the Avengers and whatnot. I, I love all of his older stuff. He was he was uh, Ichi the Killer. You know Ichi the Killer? Oh, I love yeah. Ichi the Killer. He was the same actor as in this movie. No. To, That's him. The top guy. I don't want to try to pronounce it. Tadanabu Asano. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Google it. Poke him. Tadan. Good poke. Well, he's there. Oh, he's killing it, that guy? He's the Ichi the killer, and he's in this movie. Oh, great. Oh, yeah. Ragnarok. By the way, um, John Wick dies in John Wick 4. <laughs> Word. I mean, it's... <laughs> FYI. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not hurt, because I... Sorry to the listeners. Insane, but insane. Sorry to the listeners. That <laughs> yeah. Sorry to the listeners. Sorry, my bad. Spoiler alert. I mean, I just like... He uh, die. I like to watch the movie anyway. All I really watch for it, I don't know what the story is. Okay, my turn, my turn, my turn, my turn, mm -hmm. my turn, my turn, my turn, my turn. I'll, I'll, I'll go horror with you. You can count on me. No, not you can count on me. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's not horror. That's not horror. I like that movie. <laughs> that's a Mark Ruffalo <laughs> family drama. <laughs> my, 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 that was so random. Yeah, let, let the right one in. Let the right Ooh. one in. Which version? The, the, the original. The Swedish OG. version. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you like that one? I like that a lot. Yeah. I like You Can Count on Me Too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So give me a horror. Okay, okay. And do you want me to go more like obscure or more like what we're going to bond over? Well, I, 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 I also oh. want to do ones that you really think are in your top. Okay, top. 50 or whatever. Well, I want to say The Wailing is, is top like 10 yeah. uh, horror. Um, I recently watched Gerald's Game. I never heard of it. It's Gerald's a Stephen Game. King book that turned into a movie. Maybe you saw like a trailer. It's, a, it's like a husband and wife that are like doing, being horny and she, she gets uh, chained up and then he dies. Is it, there's a sex in it? There's a little bit, but it's mostly. I don't like horror. sex in movies. <laughs> I think, I don't think they actually get to the sex before he dies. Okay. And then the whole rest of the movie is her chained up and like, it's really crazy. And oh, oh, it's like hostile? Uh no, it's not nearly as grimy and oh, scary. Oh, it's, okay. it's just it's trippy. Okay. I recently watched that. I recommend that. The horror. Let me go, let me go with misery. If I had to go like more yeah. like way up, way up there, That's misery. Like, misery's great. Yeah. Right. This, this is a recent one I saw that I'd, I'd really recommend. Gerald's game. Oh, Netflix. It's on Netflix, yeah. It's on, oh, it's on Netflix. Mm -hmm. Whoa. No, I would highly Who's the actor? watch Survive Style Five Plus oh, yeah. first. But this is a Yeah, do we, uh, yeah, I'm gonna I'm I'm watching all this shit, baby. Okay, but yeah, yeah, yeah. I love it. But like, you know, you couldn't, I'll, I'll be honest with you, just based on what I know about you, you just couldn't date a girl that doesn't like movies. Yeah. <laughs> uh, what's the, the most recent one? She was very into reality TV, which I really don't like. There we go. And I would, I mean, I would make her watch movies with me sometimes, but, uh, and when she's doing a reality TV, you know, if I'd make myself watch some of it. But yeah, I, I, I you know, unless it was like some soft, like I made her watch her, and that we kind of both got into that. Ooh. Oh, that's a great movie. But uh, you know, yeah. But Next time I just got that, really. But did that like, last that relationship? Are you still in that relationship? No. That's why it didn't last, baby. I guess so. You know what I mean? It's like you need a soulmate that likes some of the same things you do, mm -hmm. because that'll build resentment through time. <laughs> Will it? What resentment over like? If like, if like. I'm sorry. I'm a, I don't know why I'm yelling. Yeah, that was intense. I'm so sorry. It's okay. Young, I'm so, I was getting excited. I, 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 yeah. Well, can I, I'll try to say it in a in a yeah. less aggressive way. Um, if I was, I have to go crazy. I have to go crazy. I have to go. If I if I I have to go. Do it. I'm sorry, it. John. Right. What I'm saying is is that, dude. It's like you know, if years go by and they're like, "Fuck Lord of the Rings." Fuck Korean movies. Fuck all these, right? Mm. And after 10 years, the 
the, the ten thousandth time they say fuck that movie, you'll snap. Mm. I got it. Got right? It. Because if they're watching garbage, right? Got it. And uh, wasting their time watching bullshit, like right. uh, people love The Bachelor. I get it. Wait, you watched the whole season. I love it. I, I like it. <laughs> And America's got talent. To America. be fair, this you're right. You're right. Fuck it. I'm, yeah. He's like a reality junkie. Don't let this man fool you. Why? Well, yeah, all right. He <laughs> loves like game shows. He yeah. loves um competition. Like, talent competition. Talent competition. competition. I like when the little guy. What's the little guy? What's the little guy? The little guys. What little guys? The, the TLC shows. The little guys. The Japanese ones. The uh, the. No 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 no. Oh, the little people. Yeah, I like it. Oh, oh that's a joke. <laughs> when they go. <laughs> I know. I was talking about. Sorry, I, that sounded don't racist. Love, don't you love when they do that? When I said the Japanese, I wasn't trying to say little Japanese people little. Yeah. I meant the game. That's what it sounded like. It really did, yeah. That's what it sounded like. Make sure that's it's, it's clipped. Let's, let's, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, let's yeah. Uh, finish this part. Uh, <laughs> the Japanese game shows are so wild. Do you ever watch those? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Insane. I, I just, I don't know where to find them. Where do I look? Like, you know, Well, I'm funny. Korean, so I don't know why you would ask me. <laughs> well, you just said you love them. I, yeah, if on YouTube I'll see a clip, but it's not oh. like I'm like... I got you. Well, you said you love game shows. Not, and I was not like, only maybe that, that's one of them. But he pitched one, him and Joe Coy, and it was based on a Japanese game show, exact one that you're talking about. The really funny ones where they use like Zoran rap on the faces yeah. and stuff like that. Like, you pitched one. Do you believe that me and Joe Coy oh went to every network and, and streaming service and no one bought it? That's crazy. <laughs> that, I would love you would to think that. a 30 minute game show with me and Joe Coy would have been a shoe in. But like, when, ah, no. When did you try? A while ago. Ten a while years, ago. Uh, nine years ago. Again. Nine years ago. Bro, I was watching this show. What was it? It was like a, oh, I'm not going to think. It, it, it had the guy, that actor. I'm not going to. It was It was just some dumb game show that was like, I'm going to think about it before before this is over. Mm. But it was just, there were really bad game shows coming out. So. Yeah, the ja but the, the, different countries can take it to the next level. I, I heard there's a Japanese one where, the, they're either singing or something while someone's jerking them off. Yes, I've seen that one. Yeah, yeah. Is that what it that's is? That's an old one. That's not singing? a new one. Oh no, the the one that I'd seen was a uh, was a. Uh... You got way too excited well, about I, it. Yeah. <laughs> Let me just say something right now, right? He's you like, got oh, way too excited about it, up. and it was really creepy. It's crazy. So can dude. you back up a little bit and then <laughs> come in again, just um, normal? Jesus. Yes, the. I, oh, I saw one that was like. A... <laughs> I was like, oh, okay, George, we know your perv. <laughs> I it was very I humorous. It it's Will I Come, and it's a- uh, Will I Come? Yeah, so there's a, a straight uh, porn actor from Jap Japan, and then there's a gay guy who's like a chef or something, just a regular guy, and it's uh, the, the porn actor is like, it's to see, it, will he come from a blowjob from the gay chef? <laughs> and Who's a poor, and like- Is he singing well, too, or is it- No, no, this oh, is okay. just like, it's hilarious <laughs> because like- the, There has to be singing. The there. porn star is like, I am a professional. I will not come. And then- he sees this chubby chef come in and... Uh, the chubby chef is gay? Yeah. And okay. he's like, I was sure I would win before, but now I am even more sure. Yeah. Um, you and does he it. come, though? Did he blow, blow up to completion? Does he you come, gotta though? watch it. Does he come, though? Is this a, is this a, a series that went on or is it one time? <laughs> yeah, I, mean, I feel like that went on in your mind. <laughs> <laughs> I, I feel like we're not going to be able to find that. <laughs> I think this is like I a clip from it. But it's like no, but this is the singing one. That's right? a singing one. Yeah, yeah. I've seen, I've seen that. That's the one you guys were talking. about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, mean, I, I, yeah, I'm gonna look into that, bro, bro, <laughs> bro. I, if, I don't think I would come because of stage fright. I, yeah, sta I, I, stage fright. I don't even think like if I were a dude, I can't even imagine getting hard in front of that many people. Or even if it's just one cameraman on a porn set, <laughs> I wouldn't be able to do it. Uh, but Billy, just can you just? Uh, is there any way remotely you have to be in the room? Fuck, there's yeah. no way I could do it. Yeah. Would you be able to do it? No. Yeah. I've, I've gotten sopped before, like in a threesome, when the other girl was just looking at me weird. <laughs> <laughs> I can't imagine if it's a dude or if it was on camera, if I was singing, all that. I, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's imagine also a director giving you notes. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Bobby, it's like not convincing. Like, you know, your character is. I'd just be like, shut the fuck up, John. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm just gonna do it this way, John. You know what I mean? Like, I would not take his notes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Wouldn't you? Would you take notes? Yeah, you gotta be a character actor. Just get get into it however you want. Ex you know I mean? Dude, that's exactly what I'm saying, dude. I've done it before. <laughs> but there yeah. are people who are exhibitionists, though. So if you're naturally someone who likes to perform sexually in front of a crowd and that gets you off, then you're a perfect contestant for that show. Yeah, I hung out with Lumi Ray and, uh, and two of her porn stars a couple weeks ago at yeah. the Comedy Store. And they're going into like fisting and all this stuff, and I, and and they're, I'm, and they're like, yeah, but you know what? 
I like it when this happens and this, you know, and I commit to the, and, and it's just like, I just, I go, ah, I, don't put a fist in your butthole. <laughs> 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 Why, can we start there? That's a good game show. Yeah, don't, don't put, put a fist, fist in your butt. Put a fist. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. And they're saying, yeah. oh, we know one girl that could just go f- straight fist. I thought you would do this first and then form a fist in the butthole. Who could just get like oh. a punch? Yeah, Punched. one punch, punch man right yeah. in the butthole. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm, you would think that like if, if someone was going to fist you. Yeah, man, think you, about you that. Would go, think about it. You, 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 you would say tips of your finger first, then form the fist inside. I'd be like, good luck. Try to punt, try to fist me. <laughs> you, you as a challenge? Yeah, I mean, just I mean, if I, I, yeah, I guess. Like, try to get a thumb in there. I'm, I'm, I'm tight, man. Be tight, be tight, <laughs> be tight. Be Weirdest t- fist bump ever. Bro. Yeah, be tight. No, it's because my elbow, yeah. my elbow's broken. Not only so. that, also like we were talking about fisting. Fisting. So, yeah. Okay. Oh, I you see. You can't yeah, go yeah. full. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, you've been Dang. fisted. <laughs> yeah, by like my family doctor. You know this. Oh, yeah. oh. no, but in a sexual way. I think it was sexual. Ver- <laughs> I know, but not for you. Uh, though. That's not cool. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, don't do that, yeah, doc. Don't do that, doc. That wasn't a full fisting. Um, uh, no, I've never. I'm so sensitive. Like, I don't even like the feeling of, like, tampons. Like, when I masturbate, there's no entry. It's yeah. all, like, I don't like a lot of, like, hardcore deep penetration shit. Yeah. yeah. Also, like, do they fist the vagina? I don't like the yeah, idea of being fisted. It, it's like there's no pleasure in that. That just seems like horribly painful. I'm sure it's like fun in like a performative way, but I mean, no, yeah. thank you. It's I'll like pass a, for me. Yeah, it's like a camera thing. It's like a it's like, like a, a shock, you know, yeah. the shock of the it. The guys all. at the resorts that blow fire, it's like that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, could, couldn't you CGI a fist fucking? Yeah, you could do anything. That's what I would do if I was in a scene. I could just see, green screen my butt. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Right. It's in your contract. ILM, ILM it. You know what I mean? It's in your contract. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and then they send it to Lucas's fucking ranch or whatever. Yeah. And then they probably do a really good ILM. They put add blood or whatever you need to do. You know what I mean? But you've technically shot like a soft core porn, right? When you did the green screen, the dragon, the this. That's not soft porn. That was a sketch show. I know, but there was a whole lot of. There was a lot of this. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. A right. lot of, kind of Like I would do gay porn if it was like that. That'd be cool, huh? Just holding dicks? No, but green screen it. Oh, okay. Then you could put like Megatron and other characters yeah, like and, Crazy Dicks. and Yoda, or whatever, and Fancy. Megatron and Yoda, and, and do that. You know what I mean? I uh, does Megatron have a penis? Probably. Exactly. I I had a brief. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. Oh, Steve. Oh, that's not Steve. Oh, god. Looks like it. <laughs> <laughs> This is on the internet forever. I love dude, it. Dude, what? do you believe they let that on TV? Yeah, that is wild. Actually, would that? There's no way now. Net- network TV, I even mean, that's crazy. There's no way. They let that slide on network TV. Yo, so I actually have two cam- porn cameos. I, Whoa. I met a porn star. I, I've met a lot of porn stars. I actually I performed at the AVN Awards. What I was going to say earlier is that I met all these male porn stars all like the leading ones and they're some of the most nice down to earth chill guys like because they have the best life exactly. ever like, yeah they they nutted away all their stress and, and yeah <laughs> chill anyways i met this porn star um and she i don't know exactly why i don't know what maybe she wanted to get something else out of it but basically she paid me to use my house not the one i have now but my previous house to film lesbian porn and i was like all right you can pay me but but i require a a cameo as well <laughs> So nice. like in, in both of them they had like a fruit theme. So at the beginning of the videos, I would you played a fruit. I'd walk. No, I'd, oh, okay. I'd walk in as like the flute deli- flute delivery man. Yeah, did I say flute? Fruit delivery man. <laughs> I think a flute one would be more. Flute would be even <laughs> more <laughs> crazier. <laughs> it's young gravy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But yeah, I, I just brought these women. Like, hey, here's your here's your strawberries, baby. You had lines. You yeah, had yeah, yeah, yeah. They gave you lines. They gave it, you was lines. In my, it was actually in my bed at my old house and I was in the room and everything and it was did you watch the scene part of it yeah we sat there and drank beers me and my roommate it was kind of fun oh that sounds cool it got a little weird after a while and we just left because we're like this, <laughs> this is, yeah yeah I didn't know this was going to go for 40 minutes uh, so we got out after a bit but it was kind of chill <laughs> to just see the behind the scenes I'm like the the camera guys have all their little things I got to do that I didn't think about you know yeah 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 this is not it's not for me so yeah, I mean, I, I didn't do porn. I just delivered the fruit. No, just in terms, of, I, I I don't think I could be a porn star. No, me either. No. I don't think you could either. Yeah. No. Why? I feel like I feel like maybe you definitely, but you're well. A you. Bit more of a I'll be honest boy. with you. Like you have a John Holmes vibe too. Who's John Holmes? 
He was one of the like most the, legendary porn stars. male stars. I think Dirk Diggler was based on Based on John Holmes. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Way back. Okay. Yeah, like okay. a seventies okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. tall. You know what I mean? Guy with a you have a big dick, come on. Thanks, man. You have a big dick? Udon. Udon. We'll go with that. John Holmes. Oh, look at him. Nice. Yeah. I'll take that. That guy was a legend then. Hell yeah. You know. Wait, so we never got around to talking about the commune. Like, did you live in one? <laughs> Can or? You confirm or deny? <laughs> Okay, so yeah, basically, I was. Um, was there one more thing I had special to say about porn? <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, just dude, right? I don't remember what it was. Um, no, you have to say it now. Wait, do you have sex tapes? Oh, okay. Well, that is one thing. I there was a sex tape of me that got leaked, but it was funny. Oh. It mm. wasn't. It wasn't that bad, but it blew up on Twitter. What's Probably that? just because it was funny. Because it, it's really short, but it's me hitting this girl from the back, and then I like set the camera down and it just happens like flip and like face me so i'm like looking into the camera and like smiling and like <laughs> talking to myself and then i get a leg cramp it's like 20 seconds but <laughs> wow, wow. that blew up on the internet at one point well that's um, still like that's sweet did you hear that like leonardo dicaprio has to wear headphones while he's fucking mm -mm. Not like he that. puts his little airpods in and he like dissociates that's weird. That's kind of weird, yeah. Yeah. It would be even weirder if he was like listening to like a movie that he was in. Or like, like a TED the, Talk? The <laughs> no, like The Departed or something. His own movie. His own movie. That would yeah. be even weirder. Uh, what, what if we had Matt watched his own movies while he fucked? Yeah, it's very American Psycho. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That would be great. Yeah. I, would, I would put on like some elevator music or something. Oh, yeah. It does say. It says. Yeah. Headphones and vapes. <laughs> and vapes? Well, wow. I mean, that's bullshit. That's bullshit. I mean, honestly, if you're going to get accused of anything, that's probably a yeah, lot that, better than most things. Yeah. It's yeah. kind of it's kind of funny. Yeah, you're a very like traditional like l like lovemaking kind of guy. Thank you. Good. Yeah, you're very tradish. Yeah. Thank you. Thank mm -hmm. you so much, dude. So but if you had a sex tape leaked of you, how would you feel? <laughs> well, it depends what it is, though. Stop, stop. I would like it. Hmm. I would like it because um, it would show me in a different light. What, <laughs> what, what light, light is that? that? Well, people see me as this goofy, fucked up, you know what I mean, Korean dude that says weird shit, whatever, right? And not they don't necessarily... Um, I want to share something with you, and I don't want you to be offended by it. I, did you. you leak a sex tape of us? No. Oh, okay, thank God. So... Um, well, I made out with a girl mm -hmm. on the road. You think that's going to offend me? Yeah, but but, but here's what's going to offend you. <laughs> she goes, this girl goes, there's three guys on my list. Yeah. Right? That I wanted to hook up, and you're one of them, which makes me feel good. Yeah. Right? Until she said the next two. And then I almost jumped off a building. The next two was Oliver Tree, oh, no. Ethan Klein. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's rough. <laughs> Yeah, I kissed him on the mouth. Yeah, yeah. But when, if you ever said that you were in that hurt. same category, yeah, no, how would you feel about yourself? No, yeah, I really would. I love Ethan, but also Oliver Tree. It's insane. Yeah. And then she said, "Let's Facetime Oliver Tree." So we Facetime Oliver Tree. Oh, you did that after. Yeah, you we just made out and stuff. And she and she goes, "Wait, how was this supposed to offend me? It offended you." Yeah, <laughs> yeah it was weird. That's true. It backfired. <laughs> yeah, you're right. I'm offended. I think it's kind of funny. It's funny, yeah. Mm. I'm a human freak. <laughs> I mean, if she said Tom Hardy and fucking Brad Pitt, yeah, I'd be like, and I'm the third guy. That doesn't, I'll be third. What an amazing list. Brad I was Pitt. third, and those two were ahead of me. Oh, it was in order. She told you that. In order. She even gave you order? Yeah, she goes, Ethan first, Oliver, and then you. Wow. I, I, I'm third? Uh, well, Ethan can't because of Eli. exactly. Maybe that's why because yeah. it's like a, you know, I mean, a difficult thing to do. Mm -hmm. But anywho, you know, wow. I don't know why I brought that up. That reminds me, Oliver Tree. I was very impressed with this. He called me and he was like, "I got a really serious question for you. Like, what's the oldest woman you've been with? Because everyone associates me with much older women." Well, and, well, I, I read that too. I didn't want to bring it up, but why? why? Oh, it's, it's just part of my. Uh, it started as part of the brand, and then I just kind of started embracing it and. People just started pitching their moms to me, and I actually kind of got with more. I mean, I, I had been with like older women. What's the oldest woman you've been with? Fifty six, hmm. which I isn't agree. that crazy, but yeah. kind, I mean, that's about you know where it kind of where like, it gets a little like sus a after that. But like a fifty six year old, like a J Lo type. 
Uh, I mean, she was hot. Yeah. Wasn't. 56 year olds, like women these days, like they're in their 60s, they're gorgeous. Like, I'm not, uh, a, I'm an ageist. What? I don't think she was com- coming at you at all. She's just saying that. I know, but she just made a face like I oh. was. <laughs> well, you've been with the. I, gran- I would what? love to see you like date someone your own age. He's been with the grandma. Yeah, but this is when he was like in his 20s. You hooked up with the grandma in the van, but that was how, just out of novelty. How old was she? She was 53, I think. 50 something. Oh, she was but I was like, I was like 30 something. Oh, that's not okay. It's not that bad. No, I mean, listen, that's yeah. not what it is. It's just that, um, am I an ageist? A little bit. Oh, no. A little bit. You're right. It, what is it about? Like, so it started off as this like novelty mm. thing, but then you started realizing like, oh, like I really am attracted to older women. I'm attracted to older women. Um, I don't know exactly why. Uh, it's got, I really like when I like have gotten with a, an older woman a couple of times and we start hanging out, like the conversation is just way different, you know, and it's interesting to learn. You, you learn you guys, more things. You can talk about FDR. <laughs> you can talk about, you know what I mean? Not quite that old, but. Uh, oh, oh, uh, my, I don't know. You but, can talk about uh, things you can't talk about with younger people. It's like a lot of the girls I'm around. Like my trickle age. down economics or whatever. Yeah. They all, they all talk about the same stuff at my, at my age. And it's like, I want to, you know. You're 27? 27. Yeah. Yeah. I hear that. I, it must be cool because you know older women too. They're probably even more turned on because this young rap star, you know what I mean, is hitting it right. And it's like, also, it's like sex is better at this age for me than in my twenties. Like in twenty, in my twenties, like I just wasn't like connected to my body really. Like I'd kind of like fuck for sport. You know what I mean. But like now, like you're really kind of looking for like you prioritizing like your pleasure. And I wasn't able to do that when I was younger. But I think there is something to maybe an older woman kind of like being able. I don't know. I don't know what the sex is like with older women. But when we say older, it's not like I'm banging a bunch of 50 year olds. I would say more like between like 38. Okay. That. 37? 38. 38. 38. I was like, right after I said, I was like, damn, I hope that's not her exact age. (laughs) (laughs) 39. (laughs) But for me, that is, you know, I guess 10 years older. It's it's more like 40 to 50 is where it ends up sometimes. And Mm. and I mean, it's become a lot more accessible because they know about this MILF thing and then they'll just hit me up and it's, you know. What's the difference between MILF and Cougar? Uh, I guess they're mostly probably Cougars anyways. MILFs have kids. Cougars. Oh, MILFs has kids. So the MILF has to have a kid. The MILF like, category what? on porn, I hear you have to have really like big breasts. Like that's the MILF category. I was talking to a porn star about it, and they basically go from like they're the step sibling or they're casted as like stepdaughter or whatever, and then they hit a certain age and they just instantly switch into like the MILF, yeah, like stepmom category. They're like, is that crazy? You're right. They're, it's always you know, I mean, young people, and then in their 20s. I saw this girl on a porn where I know she's like in her late 20s. And she, it said MILF on the thing. <laughs> yeah. Like, that's insane. Yeah. Okay, so two more thoughts on the MILF uh-huh. thing. All of her treats was higher than mine because he had a woman in a video that he shot and uh, they like, made out in the video and I guess he hooked up with her after. But she was like 70. So I was pretty impressed with that. Wow. wow. Yeah. 70. Yeah. That's, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's in I like it. And then <laughs> another thing, I don't know if this is kind of dark, but it turns me on a little bit when when p- my fans will bring their moms to shows <laughs> And then even if their mom's a fan or not, or if they're just coming with their kids, and then I get with the mom. You've done that? Yes. Wow. A few, a few times. I like that. I like yeah, that yeah. kind of like but usually the kids are like into it. They're hyped for me. Hyped, <laughs> hyped for, they are they are hyped for their That's mom. Insane. Like, I, like one time we were at the tour bus and I was having this mom join me and her kids were there and she was getting them an Uber from my tour bus to go home. And they're like <laughs> hyping her up, like have fun, bye, Grammy. Yeah. Really? Yeah. How old are the kids? Like she's going to camp, bye. Yeah. <laughs> camp was, I mean, they, they got like a little meet and greet out of it. They're, they're probably like sixteen and eighteen or something. Okay. And their mom so, was obviously divorced or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Single, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So they're closer in age to me than than I am to her. But what, what are you doing? The, what about the TikTok contest? Oh yeah, there was a TikTok contest I did. Um, <laughs> It, it really like got to a point where everyone was like making videos of like, yo, here's my mom gravy. Like, fuck my mom. Oh, okay. oh wow. Wow, and wow. Now, do they go to their moms first and go, is this cool that I say this? I would hope so. Yeah, I'm yeah, sure yeah. some of them don't. But yeah, yeah. sometimes the mom's like right there in the video. Wow. I have a question. Um, yeah. Um, how would you feel if your mom was thrown in the mix? Your mom. My mom? Your mom. <laughs> 
Ew. <laughs> Absolutely fucking not, man. I mean, no, it, you wouldn't be hyped for her? It's not me. I'd be okay what with What if it. she was like, I really want this for myself? Uh, puppy, like, puppy. That one. Bobby, yeah, I want to fuck a young gravy. <laughs> I'd be like, no, mom. Why not? I, want, I love uh, Udon Lulu. I want TikTok channel. I bet you your, yeah, yeah. your mom knows who he is because she's really into like, young music. like younger music. Let's let go. <laughs> let's, let's let go. You know, uh, it's not me. My brother. Uh, yeah, he would yeah. go ape shit. Okay. <laughs> he would go ape shit. No, let's, you know, I don't want young gravy to survive. Okay. I'll, still, I'll, still, yeah. I'll steer clear. Yeah. Um, <laughs> The uh, the challenge was I I was trying to promote this song Betty, which ended up blowing up pretty big last year, and oh, I forgot what the other prizes were. It was always like Facetimes, like if you like did a cool enough thing with the the song, I, it was people like making like really cool art or whatever. I would go on a um, or I would Facetime you for a while and just talk about life and everything, which was which was cute. We did a bunch of those, but then the grand prize was I'll take your mom on a date and. Uh, <laughs> I actually, I'll, I'll send you the video later and we can pull it up, but um, I documented the whole date. It, it was a little bit biased. Like, like I did pick from all the videos that were like the best of what people were doing. But this one was a woman that lived in LA and I saw what she, his mom looked like and she was hot. Um, so we went on a date and uh, <laughs> yeah, I banged her. And, and, <laughs> and it was pretty obvious from the video that I did. And then... Uh, it was just it was interesting how Gen Z is because the, the son was commenting on it like hell yeah like let's go and people were commenting like oh wow. we totally banged the mom and, and he'd be like yeah wow you know what I like and you could raw dog because they're older no, no because it's kind of sub <laughs> yes it's <laughs> yes yes thank you yes, yes thank you it wasn't a crazy question because it kind of subverts this whole idea that like you know when you think of your parents you think of them as just your parents not like three D breathing sexual beings yeah. So I really like this whole movement of you thinking, you know what, like, like parents are hot and they fuck. And I like that. I don't want, I'm okay thinking about my mom being this vibrant, slutty thing. Like I want her, I want that, I want to know that she had that. A woman's vagina is like a Honda Civic. Oh my God. They don't break down. <laughs> <laughs> Wisdom, baby. Yeah. Wisdom. Right, yeah. they don't break down. They don't. People think they do, right? But they always work. Oh my god! In my nursing rotations, That's I would true. I would um, clean some elderly women, and they had better pussies than me. Wow, 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 wow! Much nicer pussies than me. <laughs> wow, 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 wow! What do you mean? Nicer, like just like more everything about it. I was like, wow. They're tucked in. Yes, they look beautiful. <laughs> wow, 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 wow! But is there an age where like I, I'm sure Cher still smashes? Shares with a young man. Yo, Cher is probably has got the most gorgeous pussy still. Dude, I saw videos of her when she was younger. She was so hot. she has a lot of surgery now, right? A, yeah, a little bit. I didn't know that much about her, but she looks so hot back before. in the day. I mean, she's I, well I in think, her seventies. Yeah, Jane me, Fonda is still really hot. Yeah, but she has a lot of surgery. Too. Surgery really turns me off. I think. Oh, really? If it's obvious. If, yeah. Look at Pacino. El Pacino. What about him? Like, is he, is is he, he hot? Surgery? Is he hot? Oh, what? Were we just saying names? Robert De Niro just no, he just had. Well, I don't oh, know why. Oh, yeah. Al Pacino and Robert De Niro just just get their whoever pregnant. Their significant other is pregnant. Yeah. So oh. Pacino's eighty three. His girlfriend's twenty nine, and he's has a baby coming. What? what? I thought you were gonna say like she's you know eighty three also and got her pregnant. <laughs> oh yeah. They, he should do that, huh? But it's, not it's just kind of weird because he knows probably he's gonna die in the next like ten years. And then the kids no father gonna have no father and be with a young woman. Yeah, but you know, I mean, if I mean, there'd be enough money because he's fucking. Let's say I'm Al. Let me. Let's say my name is Albert um, Pacino. <laughs> is it? Al, is, uh, <laughs> that's is my it name, Albert. Right? Yeah, I'm ten years old. My what? dad dies. What's oh, okay. what's his actual first name? Is it? Al no, I'm his son. I know, but what is oh. Al Pacino's real name? I'm just wondering because it can't be Albert. That'd be Alan. Sad. I think Alan. Al. Um, Al it's, I think it's an Italian badass name. No. Alfred, though. Alfred. Alfred. Oh, Alfredo. Oh, Alfredo. Oh, Alfredo. Exactly. I see. Yeah. Uh, maybe a different name. <laughs> okay. I'm Eugene Pacino. <laughs> right? Is that a common uh, name that Asian yeah, folks Yeah, Korean. Korean. A lot of Eugene. A lot of Koreans. Jeans, because yeah. clean. One of my really good friends growing up, uh, Jason Eugene Chang. Uh I always, I always thought that because I never yeah. met a well, white Gene was Eugene, Eugene right? Gene. Um, friend, a lot of Davids. A David. lot of Grace. Matt, Matt's common too, right? Anything biblical. 
Yeah. Okay. But yeah, floor. yeah. Uh, I have Matt never met a white first, Eugene. Um, tattoo I ever, second tattoo I ever got. This blackout tattoo. It's as always Matt. by someone named Matt. No, the, it was the name Matt. Why? Why? I, I a, lost a. Uh, he was an ex-boyfriend. I want to say it was like I lost a bet to something, though, but it was an ex. And I was like 17 living in Vegas. I was wow. like, well, Matt sounds like a good idea. <laughs> I'm going to name bad. my kids Jackson. Why? I just think it's cool. Jackson Lee. I like Jack. Jack by itself. Well, you can change it to that later. Can I Can I take claim of the, the Matt on your own? Can I, yeah. yeah cool. Can you add gravy yeah, yeah, yeah. to that? You could, you could be well, my name is Matt, so I would just... Yeah, yeah, I know yeah. it's under there, so... What are you doing right now, man? <laughs> I don't know, just... No, I'm, just I'm 38. What are, you, what are you claiming? She's, she's in the, she's I'm 38. In the, she's I'm in the rain. Why are you claiming, babe? I'm just, <laughs> babe. I, I, want to, I want to replace, you know, replace this this bad act. This is never going to happen, babe. Okay. All right, right. Yeah, man. All All right. That's betrayal, babe. <laughs> All right, babe. All right, man, huh? So do you... Uh, uh, I, I want to say this. I really had a good time with you today. Me too. I was really like... Well, we don't only do an hour. Oh, okay. And how long has it been? Almost an hour and a half. An hour. Oh, and a half. okay. You know, well, I've had a great time. Before we go, I got. We're not leaving yet. I'm oh, just, okay. I'm just trying to get to it. <laughs> get to it. Yeah, yeah. It's and basically. Let's never the, forget the commune. The commune. We the commune. Get to. Yeah. Let's yes. go back to the commune. Okay. Go ahead. But you know, you. Uh, no. What were you good? Okay, this is the this is like the, the finale. Okay, no, so we don't have to make it. So. What are you getting into now? The commune? The commune. I'll, I'll make it brief, though. Yeah. No, you don't have to make it brief. Okay. Okay. What are you doing right now, man? I don't know, dude. Maybe I'm, I should have said what I said. I'm sorry about the Matt comment. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> My bad, dude. It did, seem like, it did seem like you were ending it because he made the Matt comment. No, 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 no. You're right. Uh, no, I don't give a fuck. Go ahead. You're comment. right. No, I, no, I, I, I feel like you do. Give... I do give a fuck. Go ahead. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. I, I didn't mean it romantic, but I just like, oh, a replacement for that other person. Yeah. Anyways, okay. No, I totally. Oh, oh, by, oh, oh by the way, I just want to say this too. Yeah. Before, I'm just, I don't know why I'm bringing this up, but we talked about my comedy friends hitting you up on Raya. Yeah. And one of them had texted me going, dude, I, I bomb that app. Like, I literally don't even look at the photos. I just say yes to everyone on Raya. That's why I matched with. You know what I mean? Kalila, I didn't know that that was your. But you didn't even know he was one of them, huh? What? Was it one of the names that I told you? Yeah. He called me in a panic, like, dude, I swear to God, you know what I mean? Who gives a shit? Like, who cares about dating apps and Raya? Like, anyway, let's move on. Go ahead. Nothing. Commune time. I've, I've been denied from Raya three times because I, I, I thought I was an imposter or something. I don't know. Really? I think there's just someone that works there that doesn't like me. It must be. <laughs> I think so. Yeah, because I just, I've literally, I'm like, bro, here's all my information. I was getting recommendations from. But can I, people. can I say something about Raya? So I recently switched my settings to only women. And I have to say, like, there it's so lopsided. The amount of beautiful women, talented, like architects, doctors, all the girls on Raya versus the options and the male population. Fuck, it's lopsided. Does anybody, anybody have a Raya account they don't use anymore? I could just change the name on. Yeah, you can use mine. You don't use it? No, not really. I, 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 I don't like I don't like where this is going. Okay. That's not gonna happen either. My <laughs> Me using her account. Her. Babe, babe, babe. That's okay, not gonna right, happen. Right, babe. <laughs> hey babe, right. why don't we go to commune? Commune. <laughs> Let's go to commune. So uh, I got in trouble in Georgia when I was eighteen. Uh, kind of wrong place, wrong time. It was a house party and these kind of backwards cops in a really small town came and found eight of these goons like partying at this house that was one of the, one of the kids, his mom owned it, but he was like off a bunch of Zans and couldn't really like formulate what he was trying to say. And the mom basically called the cops on him because they didn't get along. I didn't know any of these kids except one. And I got arrested uh, and got charged with a ton of stuff because these cops just like had the power to do that. Like it was pretty backwards. They're calling me a Yankee. Oh, shit. I was the last one to like get found. And they like, I'm standing in the street with my hands up. And What does Yankee mean? It's someone from the north that this... It's a kind of a outdated. It's not really diss. that a thing, though. I mean, it's kind of it's a diss in the South if you're very Southern. Like they put oh, me in a, a Yankee. Yeah. They put me in a separate cell from all of the Georgia kids. Okay. Um, but no, I literally have my hands up, and the guy gets out with a gun and like makes me get on the wow. ground. Yeah, they were really back. Aggro. Um, anyways, I get charged with a ton of stuff like drugs and and breaking and entering when we're at like a party at a friend's house. That it, it ended up being fine, but I got a ton of community service hours, two hundred and forty. So then I... You did them? I did. I had a friend um, who, who moved to Montana and managed a thrift shop. And I wanted to get away from my friends in Minnesota because I couldn't do any drugs or anything. Or because if I broke the probation, I'd go to jail for 18 months. And this is when my music was just starting to take off. So I moved in with him in Montana. And I was doing 10 hours a day at this thrift shop. And his 
place he lived, which I didn't know beforehand, basically had become like a commune. It was a three bedroom house with like two people in every room. And uh, in the backyard, they had two yurts. And in the front, there was a homeless guy that slept in a truck. And we all kind of would get together for, for dinner and lunch. And, and the landlord would make DMT pretty often. And wow. he would, we would, I mean, not everyone would do it, but we would kind of have these like sort of shaman. Did you do it? Yeah. That was my first time doing DMT. Like, I, was, I loved it. I, and I recommend DMT to people all the time now. I don't, I don't do it quite as much. but And it wouldn't show up in your. Like, yeah. I couldn't do any drugs, but I could do DMT. Yeah, what, what's the sure. feeling when you're on DMT? Pretty crazy. I mean, if you if you really do it right and you hit it enough, it's called like the blast off where you you basically kind of fall asleep for five or ten minutes and it's like a crazy dream that you remember. Does wow. it feel long when you're? It asleep? can. It can feel. I mean, it will be very short, but like it's it's hard to explain. You've done done acid before. I have. Yes. It's it's got some things and like. You know, the timing feels a little weird. It's like that, but multiplied. Mm. I could tell you it felt like 30 seconds, but also a year. Wow. Really weird. I'd, I'd recommend it if you like psychedelics. Yeah. Because you can also ease into it. You don't have to hit the full thing. And You smoke it? You smoke it, or you, they have pens now, like wax, like DMC wax pens. No, they do? Mm. They do. I could probably get you one if you want to try it. I'm in sober. <laughs> I'm in sober. I'm in sober right now, and I, and I, I, I want to try it so bad, my mouth is fucking watering. <laughs> But I can't. All does, that, does that? I guess yeah. I guess any drug kind of counts. Yeah, um, they won't let me do it. But vape don't. Vape doesn't count. Nope. All right. Where? I mean, this is nicotine. Yeah, that's I'll, a I'll, drug. Put I'll put it away. Here. No, no. I mean, it's okay. I, yeah, I, you you think you think nicotine's the same as DMT? Well, <laughs> let's I mean, fucking get real, it's young more, young. More addictive. Less. More Ooh. harmful. Yeah, you're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. <laughs> young gravy. Okay. Oh, I, I didn't ask you this. If you probably said, I, I don't want to get into your name. Yeah, I've told that story. Yeah, I don't want to do that too many yeah, times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, this yeah. sounds like an like just a sweet situation. No, it was cool. It was cool. It was good. I don't know. Maybe on wherever you saw it, maybe they gave it a weird like cult yeah. Dish, but no, it was it like, was. They always like, immediately when you think commune, there's always some weird like orgy yeah. style. No, like no, no, no. It was cute. I mean, there was sort of a little bit of sex between people in the house, but it was we would get together for dinner every night and. Oh, dude, they were they would make like there's a bunch of vegetables and make like this gray like soup that. It's pretty gross, but you know, I was just I, all I was thinking about was getting off off probation. Uh, What's gray soup? <laughs> it was just all these vegetables mixed together and banged in, like with a bunch of other random ingredients. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that was bad. Was we, good? We, no, it wasn't good. I would go out and like sneak buy tacos and stuff. And Fuck yeah, you do. Yeah. Yeah. You know where I went the other day on the I was on the road, and people you know sleep on it, Arby's. I oh, love Arby's. I'm such a big per- five for five. Arby's is yes. great. Who got the meat? They got the meat. Oh, is that what it is? Yeah. When I first came to, that, what's the slogan? They or he? We. We, we oh, got we. the meat. Oh, sorry. He got the he meat. He got the meat. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Arby's. They should change it. Yeah, and then you have him as the guy. <laughs> he, got the, he got the meat. He got the when meat. When I first came to America for weeks straight, it was Arby's. Yep. I I'd never like early in, fries. Yeah, it was just so good. I have a um, hypothesis that people who hate on Arby's have either never ha- had it, or maybe it's like a Nickelback situation where somebody hated on it and then people just thought it was cool to hate on Arby's. Right. Wait, people hate Nickelback? Well, yeah, I think there was a while where people just like the, <laughs> I love the music's Nickelback. like it's objectively good. I feel like in a lot of a lot of their songs, and I think people just decided to hate it at one point, and everyone would make jokes about them and Creed and yeah, you, Creed. Who, you know, who, who hits Creed? They're the best. I uh, love Creed. I love Creed. I like Creed too. I think it was Train. I love Train. Train is not Creed and Nickelback. Okay, <laughs> like to same kind same. of. No, they're not. They're to not. Me they are. They're not. But we should. Train's have, better. We should have Scott Stapp on here from Creed. No. That'd be, that'd be, oh no. <laughs> no. I'm kidding. Yeah, I love it. That'd be sick. Yeah, that'd be. Yeah. Cool. I should do that. Yeah, but people. I'll slept. go sit in the corner. I'll be one of the corner people. Yeah. Why do people rip on Nickelback and Creed? I don't know why I was started. Is it, am I the only one thinks no, that? Or it became like a no, meme, that's a cultural okay. meme. Yeah. That yeah. They, or back in the day, in the eighties, people made fun of Michael Bolton. But no, Michael Bolton is. I think um, that's it's protected. happened within hip hop. People did this for to J Cole for a while too. Yes. Everyone started to hate on J Cole when it's like, why? Like he didn't really do anything wrong. Mm. He makes cool music. I love J Cole. Or Yanni. Yanni, Yanni is also protected. Thing. Why is he protected? Who? They're in some sort of p- protection program. Yeah, they are. So Michael Bolton also is like women will always protect Michael Bolton. Of course, they will not. And and women, I love it. Michael Bolton. Yanni, I think just like the he's like musically pretty phenomenal. Yanni's great. 
But Nickelback, I think the time that they came out, which was like early 2000s, which was high school for me, yeah. it was just a really corny time for, for I think, like music in general. Mm. I think it got really overplayed too. Overplayed. Like, you know, like Dashboard Confessional. What's wrong with them? I like them. You like them? I don't know who that is. From San Diego. I Emo think. band. Emo. Emo band. Yeah. I, when I, we just played a Universal in um, Orlando. Andrew and I and um, you played stand up. Oh, we did a live show. Is that how you say it? I played. Well, I played a well, show. I guess. Well, I mean, uh, what would I? I performed. Yeah. yeah, yeah, okay, got it. Should I not use played? No, well, I, I just. Is I, that I, only for rappers now? No, I was hoping <laughs> you that, fucking cocksucker. I was hoping you were gonna say that you make music. No, so fuck it. No, chill fuck. Out. He does, but he does. Chill out. I I was hoping, I'm not chill. <laughs> I'm chill. I mean, I'm chill. I'm, <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not chill. I'm chilly chill. No, what, that was my name and. Uh, Chili Chill. Uh, Kicking it, kick it, kick it old school. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Chili Chill. I was in a movie called Kicking It. <laughs> nice. That was really good work I did for Kicking Old School. I don't know why you're laughing. But he really was in a band for a long time. Yeah, but uh, I awesome. performed. Okay. I, 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 in Orlando, does that feel better? I got excited that you made music, and then now it's a it's a hate thing, apparently. No, it's not. Say, um, what I'm saying is that you're saying that when stand-ups do their thing, it's not play. I, I didn't know. Now I know. I know I'm asking. You I, don't, gonna fight I, don't, with I don't do stand up. I don't know. He's asking what's the correct terminology. Yeah, do you, you play? You know what? I'm going to stay with play. Okay, yeah. good. So I played Orlando. All right. Yeah, you played Orlando. <laughs> and you're a player. There was, <laughs> exactly. Mm -hmm. And there was a hallway, and there were bands on the hallway. Like, you know, they have like, they played here. There's bands I never even heard of, like Evanescence. 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 Never I think they might be a little bit in the Nickelback sort of Ooh, category. Same, yeah. same time. And like kind of a little hated on too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 311. Also yeah. them. Yes. Yeah, they get hated yes. on too. They, so there was all a wall of them. And I basically said, don't put us on your wall. <laughs> <laughs> so maybe you're right. Maybe there is a stigma. There is yeah. a stigma. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it's kind of ended though. Also Nicolas Cage. Same thing. He got hated on for a while and yeah. he came back and all of his new movies are like, people are loving his new movies. Right. I love that. Yeah, but um, what's I have to, what's what? that one he did a couple years ago? It was not Ma it's called Maddie. Ma Mandy. Mandy. I love a that ma movie. masterpiece. Yeah. I love that. Movie. Love that fucking movie. He was so barely any lines. So he had like one line or whatever in that movie. I'm gonna send you my full list of. Uh, I would love to. I'll give you my number. Yeah. Anyway, um, yeah, Mandy, but <laughs> but 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 he was always good. Nicholas Cage. Yeah. Like no one ever said like he's a he's. I mean, I like his over the top shit. You know what I mean? I do too. But that guy is just, remember leaving Las Vegas? Mm. Yeah. I just watched Moonstruck the other day. Oh my God. So it's good. So weird. Raising Arizona is one of the best movies ever. Yeah, made. I love that movie. Love that fucking movie, dude. You like the Coen brothers? Mm hmm. Me too. They're really from, like they're from our, our place. I know. Yeah. Blood Simple? Blood Simple. I just watched that recently. So good. Wild. I really, what? what I mean, No Country for Old Man's probably my favorite of theirs. Oh my Same. God. Oh my God. What a great movie. We have um, a lot of. We have a lot in common. Oh, they did raising Arizona, didn't they? I just said that you didn't say it. Well, no, I just I didn't realize why you brought it up. But then no, I said we have a lot in common, and you just kind of passed. Well, I I hadn't that that part hadn't really let it hit, sink hit, in. Hit me yet? Yeah, let it sink in. We should uh we should hang. No, no, all right, <laughs> not anymore. Maybe you should play. Do I still get your number? Yeah, one hundred. All right, yeah. um, I'll go to dinner sometime. I'd love to. You live in L.A. Mm -hmm. Live uh, Sherman Oaks, pretty close to here. Yeah, let's do it. One hundred. You, li you live in this house? Yeah. Well, <laughs> on the way here, uh, my manager was talking about how there's like podcast houses where like a bunch of people, I, I, I guess, yeah. probably could have guessed that this is just yours. Garage. So. Yeah, it's my garage. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Um, I come over anytime. But my point is, is that, yeah, this is my house. Sick. Yeah. I'm not that rich. Can we get some uh, KBQ? Ooh. Mm. Are, you, are you a big KBQ guy? Or take him to Sonong Don or what's, something. What's KBQ? <laughs> Korean barbecue. Korean barbecue, Bobby. All the best spots I had to introduce him stop. to. He's like a fake, stop, stop. he's a fake Korean. First of all, I've never heard it. RBQ, what KBBQ? Maybe that's what uncultured people say. I don't know. I don't think I've heard. No. No. KBQ. Yeah. KBQ is Korean. Good. No, that's the hip, cool version. I think that's. I what feel they like say. dumbfounded would say something like that. <laughs> oh, that is true. You know I mean? <laughs> Yo, man, let's go to KBQ, <laughs> and I'll be like, what? Fuck oh, yeah, fuck up. No, I say Korean barbecue, man. That's fucking weird. <laughs> My point is, is that you know, <laughs> it's, to me, it sounds like Latinx. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> if, and we'll, they let that go real quick. Um, don't ever say that again in my presence. My point is this: <laughs> so some Korean barbecue. I would love to yeah, um, yeah. We'll go Korean. Par Which ones are, you, are your joints? Well, I've only been to a few. Uh, there was I can't remember out of pocket. 
don't there even know go. what that means, but I just I want to throw that around. I, I saw Snoop Dogg say it. I just, out of pocket, I don't know what it means. But out of pocket is like when someone's doing something way over the top, yeah. like yeah. unnecessary. Yeah, you're being with the KBQ. You're out of pocket. Okay, I'm sorry for being out of pocket. <laughs> <laughs> is that your manager? Yes, Henley. Henley Helam. Yeah, you know what I like about him? Hmm. He's got a gap between his teeth. Hell yeah, I do. It's I really do too. Cute. I do too. Yeah, it's really cute. I, I always too. love gap people. Yeah, you love gap. I love gappy people. Yeah. And you yeah. have a nice gap, dude. Thanks, bro. Yeah, I was man. really sad when Madonna <laughs> fixed hers. Yeah, it was really de- devastating. I was like, devastating. I'm proud of mine. Yeah, mine too. Girls, girls like it too. Yeah. I mean, I mean, I'm sure men like it on women as well. But anyway, let's move on from that. Anyways, <laughs> can, we, can we move on from that? What's the plans for Thursday? Yeah, for Thursday. Oh, I, I'll tell you what. I'm uh, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna call those guys and go. Is there a dinner beforehand? So then we'll all go to dinner and then go to the show. Mm-hmm. Okay. What do you think, Young? <laughs> you know it's funny when people call me young it's always someone who's like a lot older like not really <laughs> not really hip to music most people call me gravy but if, if, I was gonna if, say say gravy maybe. it'd be like someone's da- someone's dad or something they'd be like yo young, young what's good man that's Mr. Gravy to you sir no it's like calling Kid Cuddy kid you would call him Cuddy, Cuddy. No, no that's not that's not the same oh, yeah, okay yeah let me I, 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 okay I'm going to say something and I want to prove a point here okay <laughs> So let's say I just, his name is George Kimmel, the, my white guy friend right here with the suit. Okay. Right? The third. Let, fuck, fuck the third, man. And, and so <laughs> let's suppose I just met him, right? If I called him Kimmel. Well, my last name's not great. I'm, not, I'm, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I don't know that. <laughs> I thought we discussed how to pronounce my last name earlier. I understand that, but your stage name, if you have two words in your stage name, I assume that the gravy part is your last name, and your first name is Young. Yeah, well, right. So why I just called you by your first name? You want me to be insulting and call you Gravy? So if you're in a room with Lil Wayne, you'd call him and, Lil, not Wayne, and Lil. I'll call him Little. Little Bow, Bow, Lil Bow, Lil Bow Wow. A little, come over here. It's so what if? And hey, what if he goes Wayne, man? I go my bad. I don't give a fuck. Okay, all right, word. We'll I'm sorry. Am I being? My bad. There's a lot of Lils, so you can't. There's a lot of Lils. Lil Cam. And it wasn't an attack. It was. It just really. It makes me laugh a little bit when people say that because it's like young. It reminds me of certain people that did it. Okay, okay, okay. You're right. Maybe I'm trying to. I, you know, I've been told that that I have old tendencies. So let me have that over again. Not even saying you're old. I just. It just made me. It made me giggle, and I wasn't. I'm not attacking you. I think a lot of times that you thought I was attacking you, it was just me. You know what? You're right. Yeah. I'm gonna stay with young. Okay, good. okay. I like it. It's funny. <laughs> is that what we learned? Wait, is I think that's your, what we learned. Wait, Young is your name. Oh, that's it, my middle name. Your middle name. name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Bobby Young Lee. Yeah. Oh, I don't know. Some people, you know, they go by a why, different why, name. Why? Just, I was doing the math, putting them together. Congratulations. Thanks. What's your middle name? Raymond. Hilarious. Why? I love it. <laughs> I fucking love it. Raymond. Raymond, yeah, yeah Ray. Yeah, yeah. Wow. If I like, you know, go off on a different career path, I'll probably go by Ray instead of just to separate myself. What, what are we at, time? Almost two hours. Yeah, it's too long. He's good. Well, you, you, He's really you, good. Don't you guys just cut out the less? No, we don't. Oh, okay. This is all good. This is all good. Yeah. Cool. Two episodes, baby. <laughs> no, we always, listen, it's a testament to you. Because when we get when I get around forty five minutes, I want to get the fuck out of there. Word, I've been having a really good time too. Yeah, so it's a testament to you. Thank you. I don't trust you yet. All right, <laughs> but I will give you my number. Okay. Is there anything you want to plug? Oh, anything I want to plug? Uh... Baby gravy three. I mean, like I got albums coming out. I always do, and I have a tour coming up. Uh, Baby want... gravy. Baby Gravy 3 is the next album I'm dropping, which is with Baby No Money. So was, was there a Baby Gravy 1? Yes, and 2. And well, why can't your name just be Baby Gravy then? We do. I mean, together we have... This is me and another artist named Baby No Money. And together... He has no money? Uh, he didn't. When, well, he, started, he, when he started he's rapping. he's lying. Yeah, when he started rapping. <laughs> yeah. He should be, I mean, I'm not really young he anymore. He should be but Baby Money. Baby Money. Well, I'm not really that young anymore. I don't want to change my name. But you don't spell it the, like Y-O-U-N-G. You spell it Y U N G. I almost was convinced that mean? at one point because I'm Swiss. I almost was convinced at one point to, to go young like Carl Young with a, with a J. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and then I thought, oh, people aren't gonna get that. They're not gonna get it. <laughs> but I like it. I like the way you think. How do you think yeah. Baby No Money spells his name? Well, let me say something, okay? <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's strange. <laughs> I'm sure. Th- I'm pretty sure there's an X and a two in there somehow. I mean, you're not far off. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So. <laughs> You're right, Bob. Yeah. Yeah, you know what? Can I say something? 
<laughs> never bring him around me. <laughs> yeah, that's so annoying. I think Fuck you guys this guy. Get, no, guys don't ever bring, hey, bring him around me. Bring him Thursday. That's fucking annoying. Bring him Thursday night. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, that's right. insane. So B-B-N-O and then the money sign? <laughs> it's B-B, no money. Yeah. Baby, no money. A lot of people call him like bu bubble nose or like, Bubba Nose or Bonobos. Yeah, baby, no money. It's funny when people try to act like they're really big fans. They'll be at meet and greet, and then they'll be like, they're calling Bonobos. It's like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> they literally say "baby, no money" in like every song. Like, we'll address each other, and and people think his name is Bubba No. Uh, yeah. Anyways, now that you hate him, uh, we have an album coming out. <laughs> That's what I was plugging. Uh, I'm gonna listen to the parts that you did. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's on the on the fucking right, and I, I know I know what parts that are, that are coming from you. In the in the music, thank you. Right, because his his parts are going to be the annoying part. Because <laughs> I don't like. It. He's good. He's he's fire, man. I'm, no, I'm pre I'm pretty sure he's nice. He's guy. a self conscious guy. I'll, I'll explain to him after this that it's yeah. You're Josh. It's just like how would I spell my name? B B Y. You know what I mean? L E and then a, a two above, like it's squared. Why? Bobby's. But if as a rapper, if I was a rapper, I know, but because you would say it twice. Bubbly, bubbly. No, no E squared. would be twice. Oh, oh e. so E squared. E squared. So B B Y L E squared. B -B. Oh, what, what, oh, and and that was normal. <laughs> You're acting as if what I just said to you was crazy. The B B N O money sign is fucking normal. Well, it's unique. It's, it's. I know, but why wouldn't? My, why can't I go B B Y L E square? You can. The square. The square makes sense now. Thank you. It's e squared. But E times E. I don't know if it equals two E's. <laughs> Correct. That is That's true. what I'm saying. The math doesn't wrong. make sense. Capital E. Anyway, <laughs> these fucking pieces of shit <laughs> naysayers, man. Um, check out Baby No Money and uh, and uh, Young Gravy's album, uh, Little Baby, uh, Baby Little Baby Baby Three, Baby Three, Baby, Three. Baby yeah. Gravy Three. Check that out. Yeah. <laughs> Coming to the store now, you. Uh, <laughs> or streaming. Or streaming. You know what I mean? Netflix. Go get it. Uh, I'm also doing a ton of state fairs and uh, festivals this summer. So if y'all live, what state in fairs are you doing? Oh man, it's like New York, Alaska, Minnesota, or Wisconsin, a bunch of them. Washington. Who's, who's the at the Alaska State Fair? Uh, we'll find out. Just you? Uh, oh, who else it? is performing? Yeah, I don't remember. A lot of them are very interesting, random. Oh yeah, here's, here's my tour schedule. Oh, um, Lollapalooza, nice. Lollapalooza, Bonnaroo. Some of them are. I, I, I haven't looked at the lineups for a lot of them. I know some of it'll be like me and like a like Dixie Chicks type artist. A lot of like country artists. Um, Alaska's you and Megadeth. Me and Megadeth. What? No, <laughs> that's epic. That, that is epic. epic. So you guys co-headline? They're so, all different days. Yeah. yeah. Oh, the, the West Virginia one. Get this. I think it's it's me, Ludacris, Nelly. What? And like Limp Biscuit. It's a it's an awesome insane. Like, West Virginia. Yeah. I always thought of like as kind of one of the least cool states, but they snap with that one. So Young Gravy's there, huh? Mm -hmm. They have the Georgia Rodeo. Georgia Rodeo I'm doing, too. Wow. wow. Everyone, when they posted about that, everyone was commenting, like, why the, who? Do you get nervous? A little bit. I mean, I'm going to be like a little the bit. the Georgia Rodeo, I'd be nervous. I'd be, I will be a little bit nervous. It's all these country kids, but they do like me a lot, a, a, the average country person. You know, I, I, and I've said this before, I'm going to say this again. Because of the internet, that, like, when I went to Dollywood, I didn't perform there, but I just went. It's in Tennessee. Mm-hmm. And um, I got recognized a lot there. And I realized that just, you know, the South, North, rodeo, not rodeo, fair, not fair, this and that, we're all the same. We're all connected. And, you know, and, um, you know, I've, I have found that, you know, and, you know, most of my audience now, I don't know if you noticed, when we counted at our shows, there's probably, like, you, know, I, you know, me and Andrew, we play 3,000 seats, 4,000 seats. There's probably five Asians that show up. Before it was predominantly, like 15 years ago, maybe, I would get like 40% Asian. Yeah, but what, if, what about if you were to do a show like in L.A.? I think still it'd be mostly white and Mexican and others. You know what I mean? What? Maybe they're ashamed of me. <laughs> it I could think, be that. I think, I don't want to speak on, on, on Asian culture, but I know in hip-hop and a lot of shows, that I, just white people just going to concerts is just a more white thing. It's to cultural, do. cultural thing. It's just like, you know, I think a lot of people just don't really be like, oh my God, I was a you know, like raving and all that stuff. You've been to like a rave or like a EDM. Like, there's not a. It's only white people there. That's just oh, kind of you their say, thing. So you think white people are the ones that love to go to live shows? 
I think they it's just, a white people thing. It's like a, you're a more, claiming that it's just a more common thing for white people. Oh, I'm sorry, but Filipinos and other people go to. Okay, they go to. I'm just look saying. at Joe Coy. Look at Joe Coy's crowd. They're all. Don't too, much. Yeah, too, too much. much. Too much. Pull too hard. Way too much. And also mostly Filipinos. Yeah, they're Filipinos. They're my. Oh yeah, my bad. My bad. Push your eyes. My bad. Yeah, 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 yeah. I was just doing. Jo- all right. There you go. There Filipino go. eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Bro. What is that? Steve, that's more racist. It is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When I do the opposite. It's, Hi, I'm Filipino. <laughs> <laughs> it's insane. Yeah, you're, you're so lucky that Filipinos are like, we just know, we know. You know what? Humor. We, we don't care. It's funny. Everything's funny. But oh, you, there are some you're, vocal TikTok, Filipino TikTokers now, so careful. And they squish and, it even more. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> those vocal TikTok, they're after me? After that? Bring it on. Yeah. Pick it on. Oh, so that was that was Down syndrome. That was that was really crazy odd. impression. That was way too much. That's a crazy maybe you have to cut that part out, huh? What do you think? You keep it in? Are we clip it and just let it yeah? Don't I'm clip that part. Right on my page. Don't clip out that. Don't clip that. Okay. Get a little Freudian slip from the nine age nine thing right there. With <laughs> you wink. Do I? Did I wink? I, I, can you wink? You can do both eyes. You can't do. I can't do both eyes. Oh blink. yeah. Is that just blinking? Oh that's, yeah, there's. I think there's a percentage right of people eye. who can only do one eye. Oh. Yeah. You can do both. Yeah. Can you bring both. I can't do it. Well, does that mean I'm like def- deficient? No, there's a percent. I read up on this. I feel like I'm deficient. No, there's like a small percentage of people. Oh, oh, we're special. Yeah, you're special. Okay, thank I'm you. Deficient. Okay, thank you. Very nice. Give Young Gravy a round of applause. That was Woo! so much fun. <laughs>